Come on, dude, install. I got a stream to do. I need an editor for my programming. In installed. Why aren't you installed yet? I don't understand. Wow, this is already worse than 2020. First, this is an installing, now it's raining. I can't picture anything worse than, than this happening for the rest of the year. Uh, what about VS Code? Is that here? VS Codium. Yeah. Let's install that. Why? Why are you at zero? Why do you have to be like that? I just want to get cool and use the cool editors and computers not even installing stuff for me. I asked it to install two things and it can't. That's twice as worse as it not installing one thing. <sighs> restart? I don't, it's not time to restart. Is that why you're having issues? I need to reboot computers now and then? Hmm. Reports say that I'm clipping a bit. Well, down you go. There, is that better? Well, I can kind of test. There. That's fine. Clipping clipping is part of it. I don't care. Well I do care. I did I did change it, but I changed it enough that if it's clipping it's going to clip less. So I care a bit. Okay, so previously on my stream I did an initial patch for um, DOSBox X to add slurp support. Um, God, I just switched over to my web browser to check out. I was using it as a sound test watching a YouTube video. I clicked the first video I could see on YouTube and Firefox is like, you have a recommendation. What is it? Try it, pin tab. I don't want to pin this tab. Since when did Firefox have a tutorial mode? I have ads, I have special offers, like banner ads, and I have a one hour and nine minute YouTube ad, so just wanted to watch why Tony Stark's future daughter changes everything after Avengers Endgame. Comments are turned off. Uh oh. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to open a new tab. Oh my god. Close this. Close that. Oh, thanks Firefox for giving me a sponsored link to Amazon in my new tab page. So let's go to DOSBox X on GitHub. No, that's not what it is. And we'll look at the issue for my pull request, which has gotten a little bit abandoned. It's the only one open. Alright, so September 17th, I did an initial patch. Got some input. Um, I did a lot of input. And I think around... October 17, I halted development because I uh, ran out of time. So fast forward today, I've rebased all my stuff onto the latest um, upstream, the develop, and let's try building it. Make. All right, 
so I'm missing an end if that's probably because I'm bad at patching. When's that line 52? Yeah, let's remove that. Does it compile now? So the, the first bit of this stream is just going to be me getting um, my code in order and up to date. There's also some commits that I'm going to have to uh, backport. So let's get ready for that. DOS chunk, DOS box X. So I based my code on older code. And they and I copied the code to a different file and they changed the code in the original file. So now I have to backport that. So let's see. We have three commits to backport. Let's open another terminal for actual development. So let's see. The f there's two commits called improve and enhance mapper interface. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to I don't know why that didn't change directory. Did I just, oh, I'm in a shell that doesn't show the current directory. Thanks. Um, I don't know who I'm at at there because I, I changed the shell. I just didn't add a configuration. How many frames am I dropping? Okay, Adam's installed. Oh my God, I have an editor, but it's too late. I'm already programming. I'm in the mood. Um, VS Code still isn't installed though. So as far as I'm concerned, that's trash. Okay, so there's actually three commits. Is there a way to get get to make a diff of just these three commits for this file. And then I could try applying that to my file. Let's see, git diff. Um, we left off from there. No, we didn't. We left off from this commit. This is the commit I was using, I believe. So let's make the commit range. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I scroll, I'm scrolling in the output of less. So it's actually looking really weird. Okay, so let's see. We have a range of commits and then we're gonna set it to be just, where am I? On this file. Okay, so it's given me a full diff of uh, everything that should be changed. Um, I think that looks about right. And we're just gonna try and import that into my code, I guess. Well, I'm gonna actually check out the file. So we're gonna create the diff in order to Check that out. We'll have the diff as guidance, but we'll also check out the um, latest version in order to see, actually have a file to copy and paste from. So I have that diff there. Let's open another terminal. At this point, you're probably asking, why am I not using Tmux? Good question. Why use Tmux at all if you can just open more terminals? I mean, I'm using the mouse already. There's no point. Okay. Source misc ethernet.cdp. And then we're going to also open 
source. Also going to edit. We can just use the VMS file browser for this. Hardware any 2000. There we go. So we have both these files as buffer one and buffer two. Okay, buffer one and buffer five. So let's see, what changes do we need? So you started using a Nick list for network interface stuff. I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Wait, does just doing B switch between them? I'm sure there was a button to switch between buffers. Okay, whatever. So where's the Nick list? That was above the module base, I guess. So let's put that here. Oh, this is the wrong file. Um, Ethernet PCAP. There we go. What was this replacing? Yes, it was replacing um, this, I think. Do, do, do. So I have a variable called necklist. And then they use that to log stuff. Okay, let's just have a quick check here at what is happening. I have a ton of errors. Not very charismatic. And if without if. Fair. Oops. That would be uh, this new mouse. I got a new, I found a new mouse and uh, it's just being like that. It, it's noisy, which is often something you, something you don't think about with mice, but uh, well, real mice um, with computer mouses, I think it's plural as mouse. You don't think about how noisy they are, but some have really noisy scroll wheels. I don't like it. All right, let's change directory. See, miss and Ethernet PCAP. Um, I already have it open, so Vim is telling me, sorry, not for you. 246, I've got an end if that doesn't match. Why? I've accidentally ended if win 32 in the wrong place. Okay. So let's try that. And the code is arrowing big because I'm trying to compile win 30 code on my Linux system. No declaration matches start. Um, so I'm starting to have wonderings about how I wrote this code before. Um, because last time I checked, it did seem to work. But I'm starting to get second thoughts. So it's called initialize. Have I just not ported um, the code. Uh, okay. Start. I changed that to initialize for some reason. Wait, does build debug SDL enable slurp support? I mean, it, it should. Let's just check if slurp is being enabled looks like it and pcap so they're both being enabled i'm getting the full blast of errors mm -hmm. um so i'm getting a whole bunch of errors way more errors than i should be getting for someone that's just 
sporting code. So why is this? I don't know, I guess, did I change the interface but not the actual slurp code? Am I using an old interface? Hmm. Get packets, so bit u and bit 8 and stuff is not what the interface wants. So let's just quickly check the include ethernet file and see has initialize uses uint8 okay now in this pcap connect uh, pcap file is it using uint yes it is so have i forgotten to change my slurp code to uint It uses start still. Why is it using start and why is it using bit 8? I'm very confused now. Let's check the GitHub. What did I actually post here? Alright, so I said that these three commits are basically done. So what did I actually use as the interface? Did I change it? Ethernet connection initialized. No, it. Did I just submit broken code? Wow, I'm getting fired for this one. Hmm. So the PCAP code there, it looks correct though. So I'm guessing my slap bit 8. Let's just change bit 8u to uint 8t and see if that helps. I don't know which file, which, oh, I'm just doing make, aren't I? Yeah, I'm not doing the big long build string. All right. And I need to change the header too, because this is C++. And if you don't change the headers of things, it will get mad at you. I mean, C does too, so I'm not really surprised. Um, do I also have the start function here? Let's change that to initialize. God, Twitch is dying. Do I actually have like a stream chat? No, I don't. Am I actually streaming? Is my house okay? Can anyone hear me? Doesn't matter. Um, what if I commit, what if I on my other computer, I just connect to chat manually? Is that going to work? No, error logging in. Huh, so Twitch is actually having big problems at the moment. At least on my connection. Yeah, weird. Okay then, Twitch. No declaration matches. Okay, so I did just change that. Oh no, I didn't change the source code for that. Start should be initialize. 
and then we go back and we run make. And it's giving me errors from other people's code, not errors, warnings, kind of the same thing, but uh, not my problem, I don't think. Alright, I think that might have fixed up enough code. Wow, that's a lot of stuff that should be ignored by git ignore. Um, let's just git reset that. So I'm going to make a commit just for um, fixing this stuff. So using nano for some reason, whatever. Um, bu -bu -bu. So, I'll just write fix. Um, I have to actually split this into two commits if I'm gonna squash it later. So it's, let's, let's reset the slurp stuff. So this should just be pcap, fix pcap. Okay, well, I managed to typo that pretty badly. And then we're just gonna um, fix slurp. All right, and I can squash those later. That'll be fine. Okay. Let us get back to um, fixing the ethernet pcap stuff to be in line with mainline. All right. So we're gonna open this file. We're gonna run out git diff again. Of course, I don't actually have history on this shell for some reason, there we go. So let's run git diff there, so we know what to copy across. And then we're going to edit ethernet pcap. Gonna look at our errors. Undefined reference to any 2k in it. Is that something I missed too? I'll look at that in a bit. Because it's more important that I um, get this done. So it makes a variable called Nicklist, N-I-C-L-I-S-T. And then just uses that to log stuff? Why? Hmm. I'm not sure why this is here. I think I would have to see if Nicklist is used somewhere else. Shh, I just opened my stream back up and I heard my voice. Okay, well, let's look at the actual commits then. Well, I guess we could jump back and have a look at this. Uh, any 2k init issue. Is this new code? Let's see if we can blame that file. And I put vim in front of something because I'm just used to writing that. Any 2k init? No. Wow, are you kidding me? Um, let's just quickly grep for that in the um, branch I did. 
um, in the code I actually uploaded, I think. <laughs> yes, I'm getting messages from people on my private messages, and um, it's like, I love that it says connecting to chat. This is going to be an wow, that commit just says, oh fuck, what the, why was this here? Um, bold move. So, in my branch, the any2k init function, it just isn't there. In fact, it was removed on June 22nd, 2019. However, it's here again? Um, let's see where it was reintroduced. No, it's there. So, why is it here? Why do I have any 2k underscore in it here? I think I've spelt it wrong. In fact, I can just, why didn't I, I used git blame before. Any 2k in it. So, uh, it's there. It's been there since 2015. Why? It's defined. Okay. So it should actually be working. C any two thousand. Didn't I remove that though? Didn't I make the any two thousand code unconditionally load it in decouple emulator from PCAP? Because C any two thousand should not be defined anymore. Yeah, the any two thousand file there at the top shouldn't have any C any two thousand stuff. Okay, well, I'm not very smart because I just realised that I checked out old code. And if I ran git status, then it would tell me that I've checked out old code. And I'm trying to debug old code, which obviously isn't going to work. So I do actually need to um, fix this first. Uh, backport the changes so I can get rid of that old code. Um, yes. Decouple emulator from PCAP. So let's have a look at these changes. Because obviously... I'm not really looking at them. Help menu, added menu item, list network interfaces under help menu. That's very helpful. So how does it actually do that though? And how does that interact with the code that I've been changing? Whoa, was that it? All right. So there's a string called Nick list. And I guess, wow. Um, I guess that we're actually just going to stomp over that in our code. Um, oh no. That's not good. Oh, well, it's the same type of thing. So let's look at the diff again and we'll... How come I couldn't grep for that? 
oh, I grepped in the wrong folder because I don't have my pass name in my uh, prompt. Okay, so let's find our git diff, diff again and let's uh, port this code over. Um, can we actually just split this? And uh, let's put that in, split the window and put buffer one in there so we can just copy stuff over. Um, so nick list, we actually do have to specify that as an external string, which is what was confusing me because I haven't seen code do that in forever. And so obviously all the code that has changed is mostly necklace stuff. So let's find necklist installed. We copy that over. List. Um, that would be incorrect non-functional was that added a l l devs wrong pcap version or something did they change the error message for that yes incorrect or non-functional pcap list okay so that's two of them what's the next one Cannot enumerate network interfaces. Enumerate network interfaces. Let's put that there. Correct. Um, did I grab the installed one? Yeah. So that one, I grabbed that one, grabbed that one. Did we do the cannot enumerate network one? Yep. Wait, yeah. Cannot enumerate. And then the actual network interface stuff here, it looks like they've changed it so um, it unconditionally does a list of network stuff and adds that to the network interface list. And then if list is set, it will print it. Got it. So I think we might just be able to change all this code. Not sure, let's see. Yeah, so here, up to here. I think that's the code. Oops. So print list and quit should be in this code here. And then that just returns, we should return false. So let's have a look at that diff and let's see how it compares to my diff. So we add Nick list way too far down before it's referenced. So let's change that. We'll put it up here. So we want to kind of mirror the changes. Oh, that's the actual original diff. Nick list. log message, then we go down, 
wrong, incorrect. So that one's done, cannot enumerate, that one's done. Um, then we have the code that should handle adding and printing the network interface list. Now I'll actually have to check that, but it looks basically the same. I will have to change the indentation, I think. Possibly. And remove load success. Unless I use load success. No, okay, let's see if this compiles and we'll just check out the um, any 2000 file. Again with the path name. And let's go back to our make window and make this. And if without if, wait, why is that happening? I thought I fixed that. I thought I fixed it. Um, I'm going to edit this anyway. And if without if. Does that fix it? I just removed the only end, the first end if I saw. All right. All right, we built. So let's commit some stuff. Um, we'll just change the source and we'll do git status dot. So uh, it just tells me so much trash, I don't need to know. Okay, let's see what any 2000 is. Git commit that file, fix end if. Um, let's go back to any 2000, fix end if. And I guess we just do source hardware. Um, git commit misc, I guess we'll do that. Um, pcap use new mapping interface. All right, so let's just try and run DOSBox X now. It boots. Now let's go to configuration tool, any 2000. Yep, let's enable it and just see what happens. What's mapper editor? That's nothing. Uh, let's reset this. Reboot. Or is it reset? All right, so there it just spouted out all the um, network interfaces into my terminal, which is good. Configuration tool, any 2000, help. Um, where is it supposed to show me the actual real Nick list? Because um, where it's not where I expect it to be. Let's have a quick grab. GUI, SDL, GUI. Is it because I'm using too old of a GUI? Is this SDL1 or 2? Oh, it's SDL1. I think. Show help, Nick. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, okay. UE select DOSBox configuration tool. Configuration help settings configuration. So it's really not here. There's a lot of things that it's going to ask. It's not here, is it? Show help, Nick. I don't know how to make it do that. Although it looks like this does do SDL stuff. All right, case, what are we selecting? UE select. Show advanced options. Settings, any 2000, help. Is it in here? No. So this code that I'm supposed to be porting, I don't know how to access it. Real Nick. Configuration, settings, help. So could it be in another menu? Help here. List network interfaces. Oh, all right. And uh, well, that's filled my screen up. Does escape fix my solution? Close. All right, well, that works. I just didn't know how to use that. Let's see. Can I do git diff u just to get updated stuff? No. Of course not. Okay, so we're actually back to where I'm supposed to be. Um, we're at parity with upstream. And so the next step is to add some configuration options. So let's look at this. Um, how do I make a configuration file? Ooh. I guess we'll just dive into it then. Um, I need a configuration file first though. I have to save the configuration file so I can see what it actually outputs. All right. Configuration tool, save. Yes. What's all these? Use portable config, use user config, use primary config. I don't know what any of those are, but we have a config now. And it's a big config. It has comments everywhere, which is good. It's what you would like in a config. So we're gonna have to move, we're gonna have to get rid of real Nick or at least change it. We're gonna have to migrate it. Um, hmm. Sonic the Hedgehog Battle 2 in DOS. Yeah. I'm reading chat someone's sending me. Kaz is just directly sending me because we don't have actual Twitch chat. Okay, so we have some interesting multiple config things here. Like we have IDE primary and IDE secondary. So let's just toy with this a bit and we'll just do Ethernet PCAP and enable equals true and let's set real neck um, equals list would that be what we want and then for any 2000 we do um, ethernet equals pcap i think that's how we'll do it
And we want to deprecate real Nick. Um, because, but we have to migrate existing stuff. Um, and we also want to set slurp as default. So my thinking is, um, if real Nick is list, then we can just switch to slurp. So let's write that down in our to-do list. We're going to switch to slurp if real Nick is list. We'll have to have a migrate real Nick function. So set up ethernet pcap if real Nick um, plus any two, if any 2000 is enabled um, and real Nick. Okay, hang on a sec. Any 2000 is enabled only if people are using PCAP, but we're going to enable it from now on. So we're going to do, um, from now on we're going to, uh, I'm gonna write my little migrate function here. Okay, so migration process. If PCAP is, sorry, if PCAP is enabled, any 2000 is true, then we want to set up Ethernet PCAP for people, for them. Otherwise, um, do nothing, I guess. That's not, that's a bit of a weird migration process, isn't it? Because it just copies something. Um, set up Ethernet PCAP for them, add Ethernet dev or something. So there is a migration process there. So let's ignore that for now. And we'll just give instructions for enabling slurp elsewhere. So let's just see what we'll do here. We'll, we'll get rid of real Nick. Um, yeah, we'll also delete real Nick. So our resulting configuration file should look something like this. Um, and let's see, we're going to add some comments here as documentation because that's always important. Ethernet. The Ethernet backend used for fuck real Nick. All my friends use Open Nick. Uh, I don't know who this Nick guy is, but uh, it's very prominent in my card. The Ethernet backend used for the any two thousand. You know, this could actually be simplified. Um, mod the migration process could just be to move real Nick to any 2000, um, remove real Nick from any 2000 to ethernet. Yeah. And if PCAP is enabled, um, enable Ethernet and set Ethernet backend. There we go. It's a simple migration process. Problem solved. Maybe he's in the void of your subconscious and wants to hold your hand. I hope not. I hate hand holding. Get your gross, disgusting hands off me. All right, so we have real Nick here. 
Oh, is Twitch chat working? Let's see. I wrote a hey in the chat. So refresh if you're watching this for some reason. Should, uh, should the Ethernet backend use for any 2000 there? Should the Ethernet backend always be a backend or could it be none? Why would you enable something if it's none? It's another question. Should Ethernet ever be a non Ethernet device? Should we um, should we um, set any two thousand on by default? Probably not. No, we won't do that. Um, but I think Ethernet should be Slurp by default. Slurp by default. Um, no, it would be Auto. And auto would just be, I don't know, we'll figure that out. Although, no, it'll be slurp. At least in today's stuff. So the Ethernet backend, if you, so how do we do options here? Um, how do we specify multiple options? Like, um... Oh, there is an auto option, but I'll think about that later. Ethernet auto doesn't really make sense because... Yeah, Ethernet auto doesn't make sense because it would influence the other Ethernet blocks. All right, full double. So there's actually no conventional way to list what you can use. Oh, possible values. Um, so let's do Ethernet. Oh, we don't actually need that. Okay, so let's go with that for now. That'll be what we aim to have. So how do we do this? First thing we're gonna do, we're going to, I guess, add the um, Ethernet PCAP stuff. So how did we do that with IDE? Does it? I'm looking if I can fig stuff. It could it? It's not. In, it's probably not in the GUI stuff. So let's search up primary. IDE. IDE What a section am I actually looking for? IDE primary IDE secondary tertiary. Let's let's search tertiary. Or maybe it doesn't care. I'm not sure. Maybe it's actually just 
So it's writing it in the in the GUI code. All right, whatever. No, that's mapping it. Okay, so there's a mapping between display names and capabilities in the UE. Um, that's good to know. Okay, so the IDE thing handles configuration, does it? IDE names. Control get section. So what's control? Is that a global variable I can use? All right, so, hmm. Is there an init thing here? ID init. Where is that called? GUI SDR main dot CPP ID init. And there should be the any two thousand any two K in it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to wire up our Ethernet thing to be in here. Let's see, I'll put it before the NE2K. We'll put um, Ethernet in it. Has that got the right? No, it doesn't have the right spacing. Um, Ethernet in it. There we go, that has the right indentation. So in our Ethernet in it thing, I guess we're going to have to read the configuration for all the Ethernet stuff. It's called with the section thing? Is that overloaded? Add VM event function IDE on reset. So should we configure this on reset? It seems like you should. Um, Sherry. Let's find that again. Let's think about this. When should... Well, the configuration stuff. Gosh, this is confusing at which stage this is being set. Do I think I can ever make git to an even better git? No. Okay, IDE inits. What does IDE inits do? IDE primary init? Then that just calls IDE init. And then IDE init is called on reset. So all of the Ethernet devices should be set up on reset. So let's just add that to our notes. Um, set up config on reset. So not when the, so this means people can change the configuration and then reset the machine. Um, and then we have IDE destroy. So we're gonna actually take this as reference just this per, this line of code here because that seems like the type of thing we will want we will want to go through all the ethernet things and create them and then when the ne2k starts up it will find the ethernet device instead of creating it so right now i'm just building a mental model of how um, this thing wants me to code. Hmm. 
What do you think, Cat? She's asleep on the floor. Not very charismatic. Okay. Um, hmm. So the, the hardware part. Should I be putting the misc in the ethernet? Should I be putting... Mm, I'm not sure if the ethernet stuff is in the proper place. It's not technically hardware, so I guess not. I guess it's fine. I won't worry about it now. So we have all our ethernets. So our setup thing will be um, ethernet in it um, for each type of ethernet. Try setting it up. Um, any 2K in it. Try getting a handle to Ethernet device. Okay, that seems about right. So the Ethernet and any 2K interfaces are separate from each other. But that's going to be a bit weird because the any 2K stuff is going to have to move. So let's figure out how that works. Where is the real Nick stuff at the moment? It's in dosbox.cpp for some reason. Um, DOSBox has all the config at the moment. In fact, it seems to... Add the correct section for all the... Alright, so DOSBox config. DOSBox.cpp handles config. So all the config is centralized there. So I guess what we should do now is try and implement the um, configuration there for, I guess we'll start with the PCAP. And then I suppose all of those get edited after the configuration is loaded. Although I'm not sure, does this run before things are loaded? Well, I guess it must because um, all this is loaded. Property changeable when idle. Yeah, I'm not reading that. I'm not going to Twitch jail. Glide is actually an old um, API though. So what all these properties um, it loads them from the disk, I guess, and then the IDE code must get the property. Let's go check that out. Section get bool enable. All right, so let's think about what we're supposed to do here. Um, handles config. Scammer, I guess, is the word for that. Um, SDL handles um, the the editor for networking. Um, handles the editor for config, rather. Ethernet in it should read config and set up ethernets and migration. So we figured out which parts of the code handle what. I think. Gulp. Um, so let's just quickly open up SDR, uh, the actual running program and just have a quick look at how the um, configuration menu works here configuration tool can we have sub configuration things i'm trying to figure out um 
Am I supposed to have multiple menus for Ethernet? Parallel ports, parallel one disabled, but we have multiple IDE things here. So I think I'm going to have to add some of those. And serial ports here, but there's multiple serial ports there. So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to decide that um, to do um, SDL handles out of it. Okay, yeah, so let's, let's just implement this configuration now. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting so much anxiety over this. All right, real Nick. So, sec prop, add section prop, any 2000. So we're actually going to change that to Ethernet um, PCAP. Will this actually read um, the old real Nick? I hope so. Did that have a, what's this set basic thing? Okay, yeah, so that does set basic for the um, real Nick stuff. So that should set that. Let's search up migrate or deprecate. Nothing, 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 nothing but noodles. Okay. So next we're going to add the string for real neck. Why is it? I'm not understanding the API for um, what set basic is. Let's see what set basic implies. Vim misc setup set basic is basic. Great, thanks. What does is basic is basic mean? Sorry, what? Include, all right, so whatever calls basic. Hey, Carlos. Hey, my Twitch chat is working. What's up? I'm not a master. I'm just trying to get by. Okay, so basic means that it's not advanced and you want to expose these without advanced being on. Got it. Um, and we're going to add here Jockey O2. What emotes are those? Power up L, power up R. You haven't, you didn't do a programming stream yesterday. Oh, Cos is here too. Wow. It's the whole, it's the, it's finally. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so we're going to, Ethernet, that's such a weird property. Um, backend, changeable when idle, and by default, we will make it slurp. The gang is united. Well, Kaz isn't in chat yet. It's literally been a day of weird bugs for you. What have you done? Ethernet backend used for the NE2000. If 
first on AMI, it seems Intel kernel driver involves hanging your system. Boy, that's fun. Sake fault in DRM stack sends the whole thing into a tailspin. Why is it always the, the direct rendering management stack that seg faults for you? Why are graphics cards... Why are they always awful? Like... Graphics cards always break. I don't understand why. Like, it's... I don't... I don't write drivers yet, but it seems like graphics cards just always break. I mean, I had to patch a bug in a graphics card driver once. It's just, it's always the graphics subsystem. You had all this weirdness on Twitch, but that's not you, that's, that's everyone. Let's comment that out. You know, I still don't know how I feel about single line comments that come in C++. Yeah, I remember the old stuff with your old GPU. You know, come to think of it, that GPU that caught fire the other day, that was a GPU. God. On Sebastian, you were trying to steam Tox, and yeah, it would just crash. <sighs> DOS to do. I haven't added any slurp config yet. But we also need to... It was an overcapacity thing. Generally, that's how that works. Like, I haven't heard... Oh, no, you're talking about your graphics driver. Yeah, it's extremely weird that it would... Seg fault... I guess maybe... It, the driver just didn't check if it was allocating a buffer too big or something. Why is this taking so long? Also, you, you like you wonder why I ignore C C plus plus warnings in other projects. This is why. Just there's always warnings, and you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't work on other people's code without there being warnings everywhere. That's just how it is. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. It gives you real confidence in the code quality. Well, LLVM is the same. Sometimes compilers just warn about stuff. Um... You're not the only one that ignores warnings. No, you shouldn't ignore warnings. I I ignored a warning and I had to debug a crash. I, I, there was a warn, there was software that had so many warnings and one of them was like, this function doesn't have a return statement. And I just didn't see it because there was so many warnings. And then when it actually ran on hardware, it uh, it crashed because it tried to go to a function at the end of it without uh, anything to do, because it just didn't return. The function just ended without a return statement in assembly, which was sad. Oh, it's ready. So, why did you not work? Why, why? Where's my DOSBox file? What happened? What did I just make if it didn't bother creating a DOSBox binary? What did you just do, computer? Oh, is it in source? Of course. Of course, source? Sources? I don't know. Configuration tool. Wow, it actually brings up my Ethernet stuff here. That kind of works. That's pretty cool. 
So it looks like all this uh, metadata is used by the configuration manager here. Sick dude. So let's save that. And let's have a... How long have I been learning this? What, DOSBox? I did a stream and then I did a pull request. And I had a bunch of discussion about it. Um, so I did a stream like September 17th. It's just... It's a whole bunch of stuff and you just pretend that you know what it is or assume that you can learn it. And then you just read APIs and then find ways to join them together. Like I still have to fix Windows support for it. It doesn't work on Windows. Okay, let's see, primary. Ethernet PCAP. Good luck, have fun with this. Windows is a super special snowflake. It's actually not Windows, it's, well, it is Windows. It's, Slurp depends on Glib, and Glib doesn't, no one's compiled Glib with Visual Studio. So it actually does work with uh, MinGW. All right, so this is actually generated here and looks fine. Okay, let's see. Add bool, enable, enable pcap ethernet. Vice requires. No one's compiled glib with Visual Studio. Ah, that's the smell of freedom, bro. Um. I actually did try it, and it seemed like it was the smell of GCC. Everyone loves GCC. Win32 API, that's fine. But GCC compiler stuff, you gotta have that. And I don't, I can't really fault people for shoving Visual Studio out the window. Um, enables the, enables, um, a pcap based ethernet backend. This backend captures real packets. I'll have to just multi line it. God. Damn, you're so fast. I feel like a peasant using my mouse to move windows around. Uh, do you mean with Vim, my text editor, or just alt tabbing? Because I'm using a regular window manager here, like I can drag stuff around. But my text editor is Vim, and I'm, I'm mixed on whether I should suggest it to people. Because on one hand, it's a good text editor. But on another hand, um, it will ruin your ability to use regular text editors. This backend intercepts real packets. Yeah, Windows has no hope for, for much. Windows is that thing where it's like, oh, it's cool. It's cool, it's different. But then when you go to use it, the tooling is just not up to scratch. Real packets on a physical ethernet device. Vim doesn't work with non-European keyboards. You can rebind it, but yeah, that's a complaint. Why doesn't it work on non-European keyboards? Like, I'm trying to think, um, I mean, the idea of Vim using the home row is a bit weird. I mean, it wouldn't work in, in European keyboards, but also you could just maybe get a more comfortable keyboard so that it's okay to use many rows.
this backend um, produces this back this backend uses the pcap to access and to access a physical Ethernet device. I'm going to just give a list of why you would want this in the in the help section. This requires the pcap, the backend giggle. No, please don't. This win pcap yeah. or win pcap to be installed. All types of traffic, such as IPX, TCP, um, net buoy, and other layer three protocols, and other. Most of those keys require several keystrokes, like the brackets. Is that regular typing though? Is net buoy the right word? Um, I'm just explaining this because we had a discussion about this. Um, NBF, what's NBF? Nord Bondi fish. Okay, well. Even that needs shift that. Is that like I don't want to be I don't want to be blaming people, but have you tried using a different keyboard layout? <laughs> um net bios. Win PCAP. And your selected network interface to support promiscuous See, look at me, I'm just adding documentation. Now people can understand stuff. Thank you. Right now I need, I can't afford to order another keyboard, but in the future. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, I just have, I have, I don't want to get too smug, but this is my current keyboard. Um, this thing. I think the schematics are around for somewhere, but if I wanted to change things, I'd just pull the keys off and put them somewhere else. Um, I think I would like it to have some more keys, but not for typing, just specific functions. Like I know COS has the uh, Ergodox, which is kind of the same thing something like this it's there's so many ergodox stuff but um it's got all the keys use ergodox easy yeah the one percenter keyboard yeah man of culture with taste for fine living i mean it's my second actually useful keyboard um, my first keyboard that I actually have used for more than a year at a time is this keyboard, which they still sell. Um, and my only issue with it has been, and the reason why I switched to the Atrius and I just things like that is um, just having all the modifiers be in the corners where your pinkies are instead of where your thumbs are. If they just switch those around, I'd be a lot happier. But, um, there's also like these weird keyboards, like the Plank keyboard. 
which is just a grid of stuff and it looks horrible to type on because your wrists would have to be at such a weird angle. At least with staggered keys, you can kind of tilt your wrists, but this just looks like pure pain. Ergodox have a new keyboard? I don't know why I went to the Ergodox Easy site. The Moonlander next generation keyboard. The ZSA Moonlander. All right, why, why would I want this? It's gamer friendly, sick. Um, so it's a lot of the regular good stuff. You can use the uh, this left side on its own. That's interesting. That's an interesting concept. So you could just unplug half your keyboard. Um, I don't want to use your freaking magazine. You unplug the, the right hand side of your keyboard and just use your WASD stuff and you have extra keys for that. You know what? I like that. That's That's something I haven't considered and I like it. But also, I'm just trying to, like a controller, that's weird. Um, I'm just trying to think about how close you would need your mouse to be positioned. Like with my Atrius, it's uncomfortably close if I put my mouse next to it. Like I, I have to spread my arms out, which is probably one of the reasons why, if anything, I'd want a split keyboard just so I can spread out all over the table. Hot swappable keys, fully backlit. Does anyone... I guess the reason why I would use a backlit keyboard is so it could show me which modes things are in, but you can also just do that with one LED. Like a, uh, I, w I would much prefer an OLED text display that just tells me like you're in Photoshop mode. Backlit for gamer pleasure. It seems like a girl-friendly keyboard or an all-minimal keyboard. Do they have black or do they have yet gun metal? Do you mean the Atreus or the Moonlander? Slim, sure. Folds for transport. You know what? That's fair. That that's good quality. I'm those small, those small quality of life things are reasons why I would like just splurge so much on a. <laughs> No, 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 don't splurge on your keyboard. Uh, what's the term? Or is that the term? Oh no. That's why I would spend too much money on a keyboard, just so I can... Uh... Oh, that's disgusting how that scrolls. Look at this. Look how this scrolls on the page. I've already hated this design, but look. So, it's been showing me basically way too little text each time. Like, look at all this space. Look at this top part of the page that just does nothing. You scroll down. But then you get to this this um, holding case. And the keyboard moves in it as you scroll. Like, at this point. See that? Oh. No. Don't do that. Don't do that as a web designer. I'm trying to scroll past your freaking text. Like, I can scroll past that quickly, but you've made this, you've artificially made this two pages long, like page down, page down. I'm still at your stupid text. Why? That's four pages of nothing. I'm so angry. Learn by doing. You have a training cool. That's a tool, that's good. You have a, uh, Typing Chronicles JPEG picture. Learn by playing. The page still isn't over. I can slide to see more. That's kind of cool, I guess. Modules that work together. Thumb module. Launch keys. So those are macro keys. Piano keys. The wing, 
it fits you. Uh, Alright, so... It beeps and blinks on command. Wait, so you already have a light that you can use for status. You just have backlighting for no reason. Oh! <laughs> You've decided to show off the block diagram of your Cortex M4 as a feature for your gaming keyboard. When I've been looking for a keyboard, I've been thinking about how many wake up interrupt controllers I can use for that power saving. The memory protection unit to stop people getting my keys within the controller. Okay. So this is for modding. <laughs> Why does it need an FP? Um, that's oh my god! It's it's moving around. It's it's wobbling. Why does it need an FP? These are just things that you get from uh, having a CPU core. Fluid LED animations, a digital signal processor. Yeah. Open source firmware. Um, is it meant to have two things at the same time? I guess I'll. I well, I I can't click it to open it in a new tab, so I'll come back to that. Um, yeah, just put in all the useful stuff at the bottom. Two <laughs> two year warranty. Wow. Your keyboard will work for at least two years. Okay, that was a that was a page. Does this have schematics? Because I'm interested. So it uses QMK. All right. Learn more. Change it yourself. So you're trying to sell me on this as a developer thing. So do you have like schematics? Do you have GPIO pins? Can I plug in like a little OLED display if I want? Overview. Like for comparison, the keyboard Atrius just uses uh, an 8-bit microcontroller. Nothing compared to this. Like why? Um, fac. When will I get it? Where do you ship? Where Where is the schematics? Let me in. Will my keyboard work on a Chromebook? You'll need to use live training to flash new firmware. Wait, what? Chromebooks don't support keyboards? Oh, you need special Chromebook firmware in order to use their special live training stuff. That might work over a serial port or something. Or maybe they only have like an x86 version. Um, Moon Lander keyboard schematics. See, the reason I'm interested is because this thing almost certainly, like every keyboard, is just going to take power from your USB port without asking. Which is why it makes me just, you know, it's hilarious to me to have such a, um, a powerful CPU with power saving and then you just slurp stuff over USB without asking from the computer. It'd be funny if you turn their keyboard into a full computer. Definitely not. Are you streaming on a laptop and do you have a microphone? Your voice sounds amazing. So I'm streaming my audio from a laptop and I'm using a Dell Optiplex Core 2 Duo, the latest in Intel technology, um, to actually work and stream and stuff with a uh, Radeon graphics card that Coz gave me a while back.
Yes, my sexy voice. I just have OBS with a noise cancellation filter. Um, I'm also not going to be able to update OBS because the new one requires a newer OpenGL version. Oh, I don't like that. All right. Support promiscuous operation. Good. So, is PCAP all caps? PCAP. Yeah. Random website says it's all caps. Good enough for me. All right. The Ethernet backend used for um, the NE2000 used for Ethernet emulation. There we go. Does cause stream? Yeah, he streams every uh, yesterday's. So like minus one day from now and then add a week to that is when he streams next probably. He generally streams playing videos and anime and sometimes he programs Haskell. So if you like Haskell or programming, um, I imagine you get a good kick out of that. Do you have Haskell VODs up? So let's see if this config looks okay. Um, I'm not going to add my slurp config yet. So you have one Haskell VOD up. Was that the one where you were doing a uh, hand-rolled functional reactive um, framework? Yeah, that one's super cool. So let's see. Turned out to be like a three hour ramble. Yeah, you give good rambles. Just compiling. I love compiling things. Then it will link. You have a friend that knows Haskell, it's a math focus language, right? Ah, uh, No. Even I would say no to that. <laughs> Um, Haskell is, Haskell is a language that, um, uses some elements that seem scary if you associate it with math, but it does have, um, it, it has some rules behind it that come from, you know, computer science, which is good. It's an interesting language because it's not trash. The Ethernet backend is, I should just write backend for that. Every language has rules that come from computer science. That's true. C is based on pointer machines. Yeah. All right, so. You are a hundred percent and percent certain no C programmer actually understands pointer machines. Yeah. <coughs> Especially since when you're writing C, you're usually you can usually you're usually writing code that uh, you're usually writing code that doesn't actually run on a pointer machine. So the you only you end up using like you end up having to care about hardware stuff. Yeah, cause you know nothing about category theory? Wow. I thought your brain was bigger than that. Alright, let's add this config. Yeah, but you're mm. I guess the thing about Haskell that gives it um, a bit of a steep learning curve is that it uses its type system, uh, it gets really good use out of it. Is one way to put it. 
yeah, I want to add that. No, don't add that. Yeah, so basically what you're saying right now is scary and mathy, even though it shouldn't be, because it's just a different language. I guess the thing is, is that with Haskell, it's, it is literally a different language with a different way of thinking, so you use different words, and that's spooky if you're like just going between a standard imperative structured language. with uh, bad typing. Um, changeable when idle. Changeable when idle. Um, so we're gonna write DOSBox, um, add configuration for ethernet PCAP. It rejects 90% of C's convention, which everyone else apes for reasons that are bad. Yeah. All right, so I actually did move real next. We might as well get the uh, migration code here as well. When we're loading configuration, we're going to have to deal with migrating the existing real next thing. So how do I do that? How do I do that? How? I'm not reading the code that's going to help me do that. But I did see like a git commit um, about migrating stuff. I think um, config. Very descriptive commit messages. Wait, what? You spent the last two days writing a book about procrastination, and that's why I didn't stream. Yeah, I mean, at least that's writing a book. For, for context, Carlos just is annoyed that there's books about procrastination every year or so, and people who have this one easy fix All right, VGA, this looks like something that I need to know. To fix me, need to read from video section. So, so your solution here was to just, the, the migration is to do for that. All right. Um, Redirect video config options from DOSBox to video section. I thought this is what I would want. Um, these options in existing config files would be automatically redirected when DOSBox starts. So it redirects them. Where's the redirection code? Oh no, don't tell me that's the read. No! No, I don't want this to be the code I have to write. No, I don't want this. Okay, maybe I can break this down. Hearing your voice makes you so real, I regret all the time I spent running on stream about non-code related stuff. That's what streams are for, dude. Yes, that's right, Cat. I don't know if the microphone picked you up. God, what does this code even do? Uh, what does extra mean? It's casting something? Oh no. 
That's not even in brackets. Okay, I'm sure this code can be logically broken down. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Extra is a pointer. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I know what it is, but it's not very descriptive. It doesn't tell me what it is. I know that it's for some reason... Oh, no. Did it... Hang on a second. Oh, don't tell me it did that. So it took this constant car result and then it casted it to car. Oh, please don't tell me it's going to edit that. No, you're not supposed to use... No. Removing it const is like removing the the uh, earthing pin from your power socket. It's like, uh, you're not supposed to do that. So it looks to me what this code is doing is it's literally redirecting certain configuration sections to other configuration sections, like the actual config file itself. And it's using only the best in string handling in C++, C's string library, in order to um, move things between sections. So I think what's happening here is it opens the video section, it opens the DOS box section. Um, now, It then reads through the actual text in the DOS box section and copies stuff to the other section. Well, it has string chair. If there's one thing I know about using C functions for uh, for uh, what? Oh, okay, yeah. No, I was just, uh... I was confused. I'm, I'm, I'm easily confused. Why can't this be done using std string? Well, that's... That's a good question. The beauty of C++ is that you can write C in it. It's backwards compatible. And if you're not using C in it, you, you're not getting the full mileage of C++. You're not getting your money's worth. So sometimes you just have to sprinkle in some C just to just to really know. Maybe maybe the C string C plus plus string functions aren't, aren't fast enough. You know when you're passing config files, you need to go blazing fast because, as we all know, reading lines from files is not the bottleneck memory access is. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to see if that code is the wrong way to do that. Um, because this looks like we're adding all the sections, but this, I'm not sure where it actually reads the configuration file. So it's, uh, Let's go up a few pages of text. You know, the good thing about putting all your code in a single function is that you don't lose it. You are, uh, it's all there for you. Um, all your passing, all that kind of stuff, it's there. It's uh, DOS box real in it, just put it there, okay get string. So, I need to look at the section API. Control. Where's the control variable coming from? Get section. 
You know what? Let's look for where it passes the configuration variable. Pass config file. That's what I want to see. Where is this happening? Setup.cpp pass config file. So could it be that Oh, uh, well, sometimes code can be a bit dense. Um, I have a feeling this is a lot of legacy code. And that's about it. So what we're actually going to do is we're just going to try and do the migration right there. So let's find the any 2000 um, pass, has this already passed the configuration file? Get string init VGA BIOS. Get string. So does this run? It looks like this runs um, before. So let's go to any 2000. Uh, I'll just search up for PCAP, All right? Um, so we're going to print f because you know low key sees stdio replace C plus plus's stdio is trash. No one uses it. Don't ever use it unless you're running C plus plus. I guess use it then, but I don't know. Um, we're just going to print um, set prop. I guess it would be in sec prop. Okay, I've already, where is the get string function? Uh, where's my button to go back to the mark I set? There we go. Se section get string, and we're going to put real nick there. And we're just going to say so in the industry we refer to this as print line debugging um, because you print the line. That's what you do. That's all it is. It's print lining. Yeah. Well, you can use the namespace STD so you don't have to type in all the STD stuff. You call it debugging. Uh, using a proper debugger like GDB is really helpful. But most of the time I'm writing code where GDB isn't useful. So, I mean, it's useful here, but I can't, I don't want to spend time digging around in data structures using GDB. I mean, I guess I could. I guess it'd be a better idea, but I can also just print line and so it's not reading any real nick, and that's probably because I didn't specify a configuration with it. Real nick, bad nick. <laughs> I tried to do a, I tried to do a wheezy laugh, like, <laughs> but it just came out really weird. Okay. You know, I've never actually heard Donald Trump laugh. Okay, so it looks like it actually 
doesn't let me get the string. It's horror. I don't know. I don't want to laugh shame people. What section here? Get int, get string machine. So why is it not? Okay, so do I need to add a string here? Why is there no, I'm not going to ask why there's no comma here. Used GDD a few times, mostly because college. I still don't understand the tough process, but find it just memorize some commands. Um, GDB is incredibly useful if you can use it. If you, if you have that privilege. Wait, what? I should be writing that in there, shouldn't I? Is it just failing because I put the code in the wrong place because I'm just surrounded by too much code? Let's see. I might use GDB in a second if this just doesn't immediately fix things because I'm getting tired of recompiling this. And it would also be pretty cool, you know, showing off my GDB skills. The GEDs, the GEDs bees, as they call it. I don't know who would call it that. You're not a fan of politics, but I need to see no reason to personally tax it. Trunky doesn't care, and he reduces the possibility of common ground with the other party. I mean, yeah, I agree, but also I don't think there's much of a common ground. The more I haven't seen Trump laughing is more just because, like, um, the Trump thing is he's a public figure and I just I haven't seen him laugh I see a lot of public figures laugh they at least pretend to laugh I've seen him smile which is cool you know I haven't seen Scott Morrison laugh either do politicians just not laugh hang on a second I can't think of a politician that's laughed. I saw a picture of Angela Merkel laughing once. Is Angela... The... Surely that's not the right name. I'm getting like... I'm getting weird, weird thoughts here about... Um, I'll just run make again and we'll just see if that actually works. Why don't they publicly laugh? Did Obama laugh? I'm... Laugh is expensive process. I guess if they were on talk shows, they would laugh. Is this just because politicians usually aren't doing funny things? Is Mark Zuckerberg a robot? Uh, 
all I know about Mark Zuckerberg is that time he walked down that aisle and he had all his minions plugged into VR. That was the true future. That was the sign we w where we were heading. I don't know. I don't want to get too political. It just it annoys me how little you can buy and bribe a government for and lobby. I guess that's what they call. Okay, so let's break online dosbox.cpp4035. Uh, what line was it? 435. I'll just put it at 4033. Let's run this. Um, it's just, it's just how little it costs to like ruin the earth. Like the oil companies are just like paying not even a significant portion to bribe everyone into destroying the planet. Like you would expect it would be more, right? All right, let's use GDB. What's control? All right. Config file list. I didn't launch it with a config. Did I edit the config? Once you realize our entire system is the setup to make it easy for rich people to control everything, pretty much all things make sense. Backend. Am I printing backend or real Nick? Yeah, I'm trying to print real Nick. The average Congress critter represents almost a million people. I don't know. How we fight corruption. Positive reinforcement. You can't positively reinforce against someone who holds the cards. It's... The power balance is really shifted. And so it's really hard to... To negotiate with people who... Who already have everything they want. Um, so did this work when I loaded this? No. Um, having some sort of human emotion, they just detach from the consequences of their action. I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe they feel happiness and and stuff, but I guess the problem is, is that in order to get to the point where you can have so much power over people, you need to kind of get yourself in a position where you can just ignore everyone. Like, you have to kind of throw away that conscious... Three. Imagine this, never again having to think about how much something costs you want, you can have it. Uh, money is literally never a problem again. But the thing is, all the politicians, they look like they don't seem to really... I guess the thing with that makes it hard to understand being rich is that when you look at rich people, they just have more things and bigger things. 
but that's fairly materialistic and the things that I would want to pay for uh, just aren't materialistic things. Like, you don't hear about politicians just buying tons and tons of Twitch subscriptions or music or whatever. They're usually spending it on stuff that's supposed to... It feels like they spend it on things that aren't actually interesting. They're just what you would think would be interesting. They're like, uh, well, I have a lot of money, so I have to buy this stuff. I feel like if we feed a power-hungry underdog his fight with platform with, with fighting corruption, but we didn't punish the corrupt people, we forced them to step down. Do they not... Do they well not cover... They would not cover each other's asses. Yeah... I don't know if... I think politicians do cover each other, but I'm also sure they throw them under the bus. The worldview, the mindset of a wealthy person, fundamentally sees people who aren't like that as incomprehensible. You're quite literally less than human to them. I guess. I mean... It's hard to see politicians as people on my end. Um... They just seem such a higher class. Oh, they spend money so they don't lose it? That makes sense. This value has been optimized out. No, don't say that. Somewhat wealth adjacent. All right. What am I actually trying to do here? Control. Yes. So, config file list, capacity one. So, where would it store the actual um, properties? Opt C. Section list, control dot section list. I see the worst is that sometimes I feel the influence of society's greed and materialism message on me. Yeah. But you have to understand that's just part of you. That's what we are. We're people that live in this society, so we're obviously going to be a product of it. How do I look at these items using this list? How? I'm trying to index it. No symbol operated GDB. Is this a C++ thing? Am I supposed to... Is this the... Uh, is that what it is? Is that the type? It's Duke. Yeah. Hey, cars. You don't own cars, but you sometimes dream of owning a sports car just to stick it to people that made fun of me at school or something. Yeah. I, I don't get that. But I get I get the narrative that um, you have to be successful that way. Um, to the idea that wealth shows success. Let's see, GDB, you're not being very helpful. So if I remove real nick there. I don't think it's loaded the config file yet. Kaz does not stream unless null in it.
how do I get a property that I haven't set? I guess that's actually impossible because I just made the property and thus it would be there. So I'm just doing nothing useful. Instead, I need to do it later. What? Oh, I found some code comments. The three modes are PCAT mode, PS2, and Model 30 mode. Low slicing mode is in Model 30 mode. You may find some pre-1996 Pentium machines using PS2 mode. You can ignore PCA mode. What? What the fuck are you talking about? AT mode seems to imply the presence of this port. God, I love reading comments in source code that are just kind of ranty. Like, pre-commit messages or something. I don't know. I don't put that kind of content in my source code because I'm, I'm a coward and a fool. Set up config sections. When is this run? You really get into the soul of the programmer? Yeah. Set up config section. So it sets up the config sections before reading the config files. Okay. And then it redirects the stuff here. Okay. And then this happened and they copied and pasted the other redirection code. And there's just a lot of redirection code here. All the code here is redirection code and it's all copied and pasted. And I don't know what to do about this. I feel like I feel like I, I thought that the code that I thought before was terrible, was terrible, but now that I know that it's just already there, this is how you do things in DOSBox. Um, so what do I do? Do I, do I copy and paste this? and use that? Is that what I do? I don't want that to be how it goes. Surely there's another way. Surely. So it redirects settings there. Um, I guess I'm going to have to copy and paste that. This. I don't know what else to do. It looks like. Two choices, conform or reform. I think of what Uncle Kark Max would do. Um, well, the problem is, is I don't want to write, I don't want to write, I don't want to refactor this code because I don't understand it. Um, uh, it's just, it's outputting more lines. It's changing lines? I don't know. I feel like I'm actually just going to try and write my own code. Okay. 
So we have section properties, any 2000 section, and we'll say we'll get that. And then we'll get string. Um, any two, um, what will it be? God, there's no scoping here. I'm just going to litter the, the, the stack. Oh. Why? All right, get string real nick. We're going to migrate just real nick. Uh, real nick. Um, and then we're going to print effort. Um, Jukia migrates. Yes, I put my name in this because that way I can find it easier on screen when I'm scrolling. Okay, so let's try compiling that. And then thinking about what I've got myself into. No, section... Wholesome jukes. This stream has been anything but wholesome. If I'm going to be waiting for compiling, I might as well, like... No, not here. I might as well, like, um, install some stuff, right? Is uh, Simon Simon's puzzles in here? Here we go. Do I have my root password? I don't, I might not have a root password on this. Um, let's just open this in a web browser then. Still compiling. Still compiling. that one. Uh, that, 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 there we go. Still compiling, yep. This is basically the same thing as Minecraft, right? Oops, no. Still compiling. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to have to Minesweeper a bit more often then. Oh, this is a tricky one. All right. Being a Chad? Are you kidding me? Um, clicking, clicking. Um, do, do, do. Oops, that'd be mine there. 
You've never made it through a game of Minesweeper? Why? Are you scared? Oops. Did Cos Ross went in hiding to protect his wealth adjacent lifestyle from the commies in chat? Oh, uh, I don't know, possibly. Oh boy, look, I got garbage. Wow. Fantastic. Because I didn't convert it to a C string. And I would have noticed that with the warnings, but I didn't because I'm ignoring the warnings. Don't be like me and ignore warnings. If you're there, we love you anyway, cause he's probably off, uh, I don't know what he does, programming, yeah, dealing with computer bugs. Oh, that's not a good one. All right. So how come there's no Minesweeper mode for Minecraft? Also, follow-up question, what is a Minecraft? Yes. That's what a Minecraft is. Hmm. This is getting a bit tricky for me. Well, that would be free. Okay, no, there we go. Phew, thought I lost it for a moment. Oops, I actually, I, was gonna, I wasn't going to click, so we're going to ignore that. I was moving my mouse. Um, I forgot which one I clicked anyway, because I got distracted. Can I pause the timer on this? No? Okay, whatever. Alright, so that showed nothing. It showed nothing. Okay, so um, what I will do is not worry about migration for now. Um, how did I just run it? Yeah, so... It's not going to pass things that aren't there, so, um, let's just see if the section has data that we can, uh, print, and if that includes real Nick. Do -do -do. No, don't unright click. This mouse loves to double knife, uh, double right click. It's really none of the things. Excuse me, mouse. None of the things I have work good. Like my headphones are about to fall apart, and so I guess that's going to be the end of my streaming career. Um, there we go. Completed in way too long. I got an error. I don't like errors. All 
Oh, this is a good opening. Adopt the Jukes today to get him nice things. No, I deserve only the best trash. Let's see. That would be in there. That would be in there. That's confusing for now. I'll go do that section later. Did I get an error? No, it's still building. Great. I don't want that. Reminds me of when I um, actually made a video game mod where you can, oh no, I didn't make a mod, I modded a mod um, where you could dig around in, in stuff. Like um, it was a Lego type of game and you could, we made a mod, not we, uh, I don't remember the exact situation, but the mod um, allowed you to kind of dig around, like Minecraft, before Minecraft. Oh no, that's a 50-50, oh no, no it's not, what am I saying? There we go. Um, let's see, that needs two. Oh no, that is a, that's a tricky. There's three safe squares, and I think this is just going to be a random hit. Um, because that's two there, so there's either going to be one there or one there. Um, which means those two are empty. One, two, three, that's empty. There we go. Ah, uh, OBS, I'll move you to another workstation if I keep clicking on you. That's your punishment. Wait, what? Real Nick equals bad Nick? Huh? So is that just unpassed stuff? Um, hello world, what's up? So does the data section just contain stuff that wasn't passed? P-A-R-S-E-D. Okay. That's interesting. Um, Robotnik, no. So that kind of annoys me a bit. Um, that is just... It's just passing the stuff there. Um, so, in order to migrate, I'm going to have to... Read through all this. Not read through all this, but go through each line. And it uses a string stream here. And it adds stuff to... So it moves lines from one section to another, and then does it recompile, uh, does it repass them? Hmm. So that's what happens. So it reads all the data lines from a section, but when it finds a line that it doesn't understand, it leaves it in the data part. Huh. And we want to kind of transfer it to another section, I guess. And then run handle input line. 
Okay. So. Let's write some code, some string processing code, if you will. Get line in line. So what's in there? Extra. Hey, Alabama and Alabama returns. What's up? So I'm just going to loop through all lines. You're from Denmark. Sick, dude. Radical. All right. If line. Um, what would it be? Begins with. Hmm. How do they do it over here? Do I use Docker? Um, not for this. I've used Docker here and there. So what does this do? How are things going in Denmark? Um, and if something horrible just happened, apologies for asking. Uh, unironic, not joking. Okay, so if line... If it starts with... Um... God, this is, this is a really bad system here. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this at all. Why would they do it this way? This is horrible. Is there a way not to avoid this? There's more here? They do the same thing here? This isn't even the same file. Why? I don't like this at all. Oh, that's a Gag Evans. <coughs> 
The big C-19, what's that? So that sets the current section and then it tries to What is it doing here? So, save data if it's not those. And if it can't handle the input line, it saves it in the data section. And it will save it if um, it's a PC98 for dinosaur config line. Okay, well, that's weird. Weird flex, but okay. <coughs> what does handle input line do? What the hell is a Geg Evans? What's a Geg Evans? Who's Geg Evans? Gag Evans? What's that short for? Uh, whatever. This is fine. Alright, handle input line. Remove quotes around value, trim the result in case there was spaces somewhere. So if there's no value, <coughs> Gag Evans, yeah, don't So it only sets the value if uh, if it's there. So hang on a second. Handle input line. So handle input line will just so it will pass all this. Okay. Um, weird. I kind of want to refactor this a little bit, but that's horrible. Hmm. Oh my god, there's so many things here. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, I hate this. I mean, hmm. who's Gag Evans? He's back here. Is this the same section? Am I going in circles? Greg Evans? No. All right. Um. So here's the deal. Property check value. Get value. I think print data. So I think that's, uh, why is there so many, why is there so many property names? This is actually not good.
so it writes out all the properties here except for ones that are named rem, for dos, or config. So, and there's a variable called everything or modified. Or why is it, what's print data do? I feel like I'm reading through this and I'm not really learning anything more. I haven't gotten any kind of smarter or anything. So, Jeez. What am I supposed to do here? And who is Geg Evans? Ascend? I'm supposed to ascend here. Alright. Alright, let's look back at the migrate code. So they have PC98 codes. Gay yeah, Gavin's in English volume up. Gay yeah, Gavin's in. What? You pasted it wrong? It means data. So it's actually, so Gag Evans is actually just data, but in, in uh, Portuguese? Well, okay. Dutch. All right, that's, that's enough messing around here. Let's try and fix this. Let's get back on track. So, we just need to find the any 2000 section. Um, Of course, that might actually fail there. So let's add some assertions. And we want to grab the um, Ethernet PCAP. We'll just write PCAP section. So let's see, if the line, does it strip spaces in it? I'm not sure. Let's see how they handle it here. Uh, 
how does it handle it with a specific value? What's cross length, cross lane? Why is it using Okay, so it actually truncates it there. So basically, we want to find... All right, let's think about this. Um, if line contains... Basically, we want to find if it, we want to find if it contains an equals, and before then, it contains real neck as a single word. I guess, or rather, if we split a line by equals or something, um, it contains real neck as the first thing. Okay, so let's try checking that out. And I am I have to set my code thing here because I think I'm missing, I'm using like spaces for some of this. No. All right, so let's see what the C++ string library has. String functions, basic string, it would be in basic string, wouldn't it? Element access modifiers, string operations. Okay, let's see, string find. All right, so let's see. We would write some code that would look a bit like this. If line dot find real nick less than line dot find equals. So let's just figure out first of all if that would even work. So we do line dot find equals. What does it return if it's not found? And pause. Negative one. So if that's not found, that'll be end pause. So that won't be true. But if real nick isn't found, it'll be negative one which means that'll be true. So let's um, real neck pause equals, let's place this here. If real neck pause doesn't equals string, End pause, is it end pause? Then we do an N. So let's see how this works. Um, we'll have to also print all this out.
I think I see where a lot of the complexity comes from because it's also changing the values, but this is simpler because I'm not changing values. Uh, not. Um, it's also changing, some of them change, uh, yeah, some of them pass and change things. Okay. So let's see. So we're going to print F um, any 2000 data line. So I can count those. Um, real Nick pause, not piss. Nick pause I. Real Nick pause, Nick pause. Migrated. Let's see if that works. I'm going to go through the errors. Oops. These should probably be long, shouldn't they? Because they're images in a 64-bit system. I'm on a 64-bit system. Ha, 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 ha. One, all right, so that's, what? It's definitely that. Okay, doing some minesweepers. There's a lot of mines in this one. I don't know why I think there's not lots. Is always mines. Do, do, do. Have you compiled yet? No. All right, four here, one, two, one, two, three. So one of those is gonna be four. Can't be that one, cause that's a two. That's a one, two. I mean, also. to three, that's a two. Almost done compiling, so I'll just quickly finish this off and we'll try and break my code to find all the bugs in it. My buggy code. Two, three, four, five, six. Hey, HPIC spoke, what's up? All right. Can you send a Minesweeper link? All right, let me get that into chat. 
It's uh, you can actually download it. Um, it's part of a puzzle collection. Um, but here's the link. There we go. All right, DOSBox. Yeah. So what did it say about migration? Real neck migrated pos zero equal pos eight. So does this just work? Does my code work? I also need to flood it with stuff, garbage data. Tests, uh, put some garbage there, some comments. Um, what if I put this as a commented out comment like that? Haven't heard anything from you since Corona. Everything running smooth over there. Yeah, things are doing fine. I'm in Australia. How about you? You doing okay? So I think after running that code, it should say bad nick equals two. So let's check the configuration there. Yep. So my code somehow works. And then if I save the file, will it fix that up? Okay. I just put a log message there. Migrated real nick from a two thousand. Internet, uh, PCAP section, and we also want to make sure that we migrate the enable value to. That's going to be hard. Let's see, how would I figure that out? So, hang on a second, at this point, the configuration file would look like, um, oh, on the migration, we can also check if it's migrated and then enable pcap2. All right. So let's see real nick. Let's remove that. So I'll put testix and say it'll migrate it and then it should, we'll check if it says true. If any 2000 is true, then we'll have to enable the uh, Ethernet too.
and let's say, oops. God, I'm getting a bit tired. All right, if the any 2000 section bool is enabled, then we will um, set the bool of the pcap section. Set bool true. Enabled. So let's see, will this work? Oh, I didn't make it. All right, let's see if that compiles. So there's no set ball, there's only get ball. Why? Set value, is there a set value? People set value. Set values. I guess it would just be a string. So let's do oh no. String Ionic Yeah, if it was enabled then we should definitely move that anyway. Section prop has no member set values. Set value. Is there no way to set a property's value? Um, let's see. Oh, I was reading an email. Don't be like me and read emails on stream. I get distracted easily. 
All right, so how do we get property? Get prop value, section prop. What else can we do? Add int, add string, add bool, get bool. Wait, does that return the property? No, that just returns the bool. Get prop. Set bool. Bool. Set. Get bool. Gosh, case insensitive stuff it is not working well. Get value. All right, so get property. Get prop. Get prop. Enable. Set value true. Will that work? set value so that doesn't work set value that should work value set value prop double set value prop bool set value so that should work uh, Get prop. Uh, this is annoying. Okay. Prop bool. Let's see if this works. No max and function to call property set value bool. Um, excuse me. I think I casted it. Prop. Let's see. Will that work? No. Prop bool set value. value okay let's just see how much this works I guess I should actually check if enables the right thing. And then like error check. Yeah, 
Yeah, it should be fine. If it crashes, I'll know my code is wrong. That's a pro tip from uh, anyone that writes code. If it crashes, then it's bugged. It's fin, th fin three. So the email I got, I didn't actually read it on stream, but it's the response to um, Casey Jens just replied, that's all. Um, so I've been thinking about what to reply. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's try this. So let's enable it and put real nick equals text fix and we'll see what happens. Um, DOSBox X, conf DOSBox X.conf. Let's see. How that actually worked. It worked twice. Did I write the same code, the same, um, yeah, okay. Um, enabled PCAP Ethernet device during migration. So that actually works. So let's see. Prop bool enable prop equals that. And then let's assert enable prop doesn't equal null. And then we'll just do Enable prop set value that. Okay, so I think we actually have the migration code done. So let's move it to the bottom of all the other code. So what's this scope here? What kind of cast do we use? Const cast, static cast. Uh, static cast, prop bool. So let's see what's on my to-do list here. So that is all done, I think. I should set it to e um, pcap by default. Until slurp is enabled. Yeah, handles edited for config. Ethernet in it should read and set up that. Um, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Set up Ethernet's 
on reset. All right, we're getting there. We're getting through this slog. So what is DOSBox X staging? Uh, DOSBox staging. Is that an alternate to DOSBox X? So, okay, yeah. So it does try to emulate. Okay, so DOSBox staging is just to kind of make DOSBox better, but without trying to go all emulator-like that DOSBox X does. Interesting. Does it have any development builds I can try? Um, interesting. How's Windows built? Do I use, um, MinGW? MSVC? Oh yeah, okay. They use MSVC great. I mean, not great, but like sarcastic great. All right. So let's now run my code to make sure if it works. And at the top, what does it say? Migrated real Nick from any 2000 to ethernet pickup section enabled pickup ethernet device during migration. Good. So let's add that code. So we're going to git add p dosbox.cpp. Um, we're actually going to edit that to be pcap. Do I already have dosbox? I don't know. dosbox.cpp. Slurp, pcap. Git commit v. Um, and we're just going to write fix default backend. Perfect. Status, git commit v. Um, and so we're just going to now do migrate real nick and nt sales and enablation. Is enablation a word? Does it matter? Can I just make up words? All right. So let's look at our DOSBox configuration. Let's save the configuration, I mean. So that's actually enabled as is the any 2000 back end says slurp. Why? It shouldn't be slurp. Unless I've like written that back end. No, that should set the back end too, shouldn't it? Hang on. Slurp. All right. 
So that's actually an error in my code. SDL. Wow, which file was it? SDL. So this should actually set the back end. Um, backend prop so we should set the back end um, to let's just write something garbage for now just to confirm it works prop string yeah okay PCM needed some timing hacks to make it stable. Why? Timeout. Why? I haven't hit that issue, so we're just going to ignore it. Yeah, so the Ethernet uses a 60 hertz clock should i be doing that i mean it uses a q for the devices i don't know we'll worry about that later Come on, compile. I'm gonna be so happy once we get that done. Well, there's just gonna be one more big compile after that, hopefully. And then we can move on to actually implementing um, code for setting up Ethernet. And there's also, I guess, um, getting the UE to look a bit nicer because the Ethernet comma PCAP thing looks a bit weird. What do you think, Cat? Variable tracking size limited exceeded with F var tracking assignments. That doesn't sound good, right? Okay, let's see. Where am I? So it should send it to, yeah, okay. So the configuration should be, should be migrated to um, Ethernet PCAP should be, yes, the back end is set to uh, a dummy value. Good. So let's just quickly add P that. Um, 
Um, so let's see. Um, cat thinks lick toes. What? What are you on about? And we also want to find um, number one. The um, thing, that big bit of code we saw that made it look nice. Um, the big switch statement. So let's see, can we find number one? Um, here we go. We have this big block of display name stuff. Display name. If name equals Ethernet PCAP, we're going to change that to be Ethernet PCAP and ID port. Play name equals Ethernet PCAP. We're going to change it back to be Ethernet PCAP. Reasonable. As opposed to being unable to type make, I guess. I think that's actually the PCAP config stuff done for now. And then slurp config is going to be a lot easier, but this is just all the groundwork for hooking up configuration. So Ethernet in it. Um, we should probably set up that on resets. And that should try getting the handle to the Ethernet device. Or should it try and create it by the NE2K? Hmm. I don't think so. I think it'd be better if the Ethernet was separated as a subsystem. So I'll have to modify that. Why am I doing all this? There's way too much stuff here. Do we just call this dead air when this is happening? When there's just nothing happening? Hey, Kat, what do you think about this situation? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, let's see if DOSBox works. And let's look at the configuration now. Configuration tool. Ethernet PCAP. Nice. Perfect. Configuration side of things is done. You ate your pickles and now you want more, but you don't want to eat them all. Um, eat more pickles. Peak hedonism, yeah. All right, so now we actually write the Ethernet code. Not the Ethernet code, but the setup code. Should you drink the juice too? If you want. I mean, you should really just go all out. Explore, explore the pickle area. But before we do this, let's see. Um, let's hook up this uh, junk, this config stuff. 
Where's Ethernet? Backend string section get string backend backend and let's log a message. Failed to open Ethernet backend. Um, There we go. Um, so let's see if that works. Failed to open Ethernet backend. Backend string. Get string. Backend, just, oh no, I should, I really do need to keep the string around. Um, and does log message have a new line at the end? No, all right, let's make that. And that might be the uh, any 2000 code modification done. Did it just compile that? Yeah, all right, so. So that any 2000 code failed to open the Ethernet backend PCAP. That's a bit weird. Is that because I didn't specify a backend for it? So what actual values do I have? Um, EN8, EN0S25. EN0, ENP0S25. Now, I'm actually going to have to save the configuration because I don't have, well, I guess it might actually work if I try and reset it. Reboot guest system. Oh, it would be reset virtual machine. Failed to open Ethernet backend PCAP. Why? I mean, it prints all the network interfaces. Ah, because I haven't programmed in the stuff to set it yet. All right, whatever, that's fair. Um, so, I can't test that code yet, but I'm pretty sure it would work. I mean, it is working, so let's Uh, it's got white space errors. Let's fix that by just copying this line and putting that there. Git commit v, any 2000 um, error if opening Ethernet connection. Wait, no, try using config backend. Good, no, that should be M. So, so open ethernet connection actually tries to make the ethernet connections. Should it, should I just keep it like that? Doing it at runtime just makes more sense to me because um, you can just reboot the virtual machine, hot swap stuff. You know what, I'll just do it at runtime. That saves me writing more code. Um, but how do we get the section?
configuration. What gives us the configuration? Section prop. Configuration. What? Where do pickles rank on my favorite foods list? Yes. Does that answer your question? Control. So control get section will let me do that. So what if I change my handler here? We uh, include control.h. Um, control get section. Um, section prop section where is it defining that that should be section prop section prop settings equals would you rather have pickles or oats for the rest of your life? Oats. So let's see, section prop settings, get section, initialize. What's your favorite kind of pickle? I don't really eat pickles. That's so sad. Why? Do I want some? Heck no. Where does um, cd include section prop? Get grab section. Should it just be section?
Yeah. Let's see. Um, so that would be section um, config, I guess. I don't know what I just named it. Section config. There we go section config, and then um, misc ethernet pcap.cpp. Um, we'll find the initialize, and it would be section config there. Let's try making that. So section isn't defined. Why is that section has not been declared? So where does section get defined in include? Setup. Or is it control? I think it might be control. See if that helps. Okay. And I messed up by not putting a semicolon there. Oh, that actually seems to have worked. Let's try actually implementing the the um, PCAP backend. Big grip section. Get string. Get was that an uppercase? No. String config. Let's see. Why did my slurp stuff not work? Section, get prop value. Section prop. So I have to change that to section prop then. I guess. No, I'll try casting it like everyone else does. I don't know why the slurp code isn't failing to compile. Section prop get string. Uh, that would be a real nick. Did the did I just not do the slurp part? Why isn't that failing? 
it's not I didn't what did I not add slurp support for the um, Ethernet stuff Whip slurp to implement the runtime Ethernet backend selection. Oh, I didn't port that. I guess not. Wow, I'm dropping the ball today. Wait, is it actually building the slurp thing? Oh yes, it did, because um, it had a whole bunch of errors. DOSBox X. So let's see. Configuration tool. Failed to find network information, check real NIC parameter. Okay, so now we change that to um, help, no, I would go help list ne network interfaces and it would tell me ENP0S25. And I would go here and go ENPS02, S02. ENP0S25, I think it is. And then I'd reboot the virtual machine. And let's see, does it work then? You don't have permission to capture on that device. Fair enough. But it works. I mean, it connects up properly. I don't want any pickles, no. Let's see. Pass PCAP to pass config to PCAP. And then we want to do Did I forget anything else? Fix building without Ethernet slurp. Let's just cherry pick this. What? No, I don't actually need to do this. I can just write the code. Let's look at what I've written so far. Ethernet PCAP. Wait, I haven't... Did I import any slurp code? Add lib slurp, build lib slurp. All right, so I haven't actually Ethernet. So what we're actually gonna do is just copy and paste this. So we fixed up all the PCAP stuff. Now we're just gonna do slurp. Although we'll just give it PCAP now. Um, because why not? Um, then we'll do slurp, initialize, section, config, and 
initialize section config. And so this should set up everything so far. And we'll see if that works. We'll see if we can ping stuff or whatever. New slurp. Oh, I didn't include slurp. Ethernet. Slurp. It still didn't work. Slurp Ethernet connection. Because the following connections are pure send packet and get packets. Why? Send packets, get packets. Why? I'm pretty sure I... Did I... have I... am I just missing a large section of the code I wrote? Get packets. Use Ethernet connection. Slurp. That's some. That's some old code there. I guess I just haven't fixed that up yet. Get packets. No, I should have that get packets, so I just haven't. Get packets, send packet. I think that's it. Hang on. Let's go look at the slurp.h. Send packet, receive packet. Get packets. And then that would be pcap has send packet, get packets. Yeah, so let's just flip those around. Send packet, get packets, receive packet. Wait, I shouldn't have moved that. All right, now we get the errors. Receive packet, time of All those should just... Uh, there we go, that looks better. Oh no. Config section. I should rename those order config section. Wait, no, I'll just change that to config and then I'll rename my slurp.stuff. So let's see if I can use slurp now. Um, so do I actually have any DOSBox stuff around? I probably do. So let's just do DOSBox. We boot this up. We go to configuration tool. Yep, let's set the back end to slurp. Why did the any two thousand? 
Okay, yeah. So we'll just do that. Then we reboot the ghost machine. And does it initialize slurp? Did it not fix the back end? It still says here. Well, maybe it doesn't. Okay, maybe slurp is working. Let's just try and reboot the virtual machine again. Uh, reboot the virtual machine. No, any initialize slurp. Okay. Base C R Q. So let's just find some programs we can run. Um, DOSBox X. You know what? Let's just load up. Let's try and load up FreeDOS and see if it runs. Wait, configuration tool, any 2000 backend slurp. And then let's reboot this and see if this works. Jukes ASMR, no, please. Alright, so we do actually have DOS stuff. So the back end for Slurp does actually work. The Slurp back end. Um, oh, I, I swear I wrote how to install free DOS in DOSBox properly, but I forget. Uh, that sucks. That really sucks, because next time I do it, I'll have to remember. Uh, wait, did I write it in this? No, I should have written it in that. Okay, yep. Everything's working. So what if we just save the config? And then we boot up this again. Let's see what it actually shows. Does it show slurp? Good. I'm a little annoyed because I had some instructions on how to set up FreeDOS properly. Is it in my trash? DOS to do? No, that's from today. That's too hopeful. Um, documents? No, I'll have to look around some other time. DOS. Um, no, it's not in my computer either, my main one. Okay, let's keep going. So let's see. Get diff misc. So there's a bit of stuff here. We're gonna have to add in, we're gonna have to fix the ethernet slurp stuff up. Git commit that, fix slurp to use API. And then we're going to have to 
have slurp be added to the options for add slurp backend. How done are we with this? Well, not that done. We're still working on configuration and junk. Um, but now we have to add like configuration for slurp. Arr. Wonder if I should take a break from this. Not too sure. Let's look at my git log. Pass config, try using commit back in that. Nah, nah, nah. Sleepy time is for jukes. No, I'm not sleepy. I'm just like uh, focused. Play dungeon crawl stone soup. No, that would that would kill me. No, nope, let's keep going. I at least wa I I want. Um, I think if I get the configuration for this done today. Um, let me just look at the slurp code, which is kind of trash. Um, the code still has some to do's. Um, but all that's doable, but the most annoying part is the config stuff. So let's see. What configs are we going to need for this? Did I delete my DOS to do? Yeah. So what configs are we going to need? Ethernet slurp enable slurp ethernet backend then we're going to need um restricted equals false all right and we're going to write restricted allows access to hosts running DOSBox X. Just put DOSBox. Um, disable host loopback. Um, We need easier configurations for people, I think. I don't know. Um, some of these are going to be advanced. Disable host loopback. Allows access to... If false. Disables access to one, two, seven, two, nine. Um, MTU. I don't know what that is. MRU. They're both zero for default. All right. Then we have um, IP version four. Network Hmm, so we have network 
do, do, do. I don't know how to explain that at the moment. Network, netmask, host, name server, DHP start, good. And now we just kind of duplicate that for IP version six. And then we'll add some enabled things here. Um, prefix, host name server, host name, I don't know if we're going to add the rest of the stuff at the moment. We can add them later. I'm not sure. I think that's a good start. Um, TFTP server name, TFT path. I don't know about the TFTP stuff yet. Okay, uh, let's see. <sighs> and then we have, um, did I put a host name here? Yeah. So. That's the DHP stuff. So let's say DHP4 host name. I think. I'm not sure yet. And then we have I prefix length there. Okay, so we don't have those documented, but we might as well just start adding those now. Um, bool, bool, those are all strings. Bool. Bool. So everything here is a string, um, except that's an int. I believe so. And those are both ints. Oops. And we'll do to do better message. And I guess we'll find receive packet. I guess I'll put that down here because that's actually part of the Slurp API. And I also have to uh, space these out a bit and figure out um, I have to figure out um, the length there. I don't know why that says to process this better. Slurp send packet. Um, do I actually have the slurp source code around here? I probably do, right? That'd be something I would have. I think. Is it in another directory? Slurpy, slip slurp, source.
slept, let's see. Um, let's see. You know, I might actually just cut IP version 6 out of the config as well. Um, because DOSBox X is meant to emulate hardware from that time and IP version 6 didn't exist and it's giving people confused options that they don't need but I'll prefix it with IP version 4 anyway um, so what would it be send packet Slurp send packet. Failed to send packet. And okay, so there's actually not a better way to process that. That can go away. Guest error, slurp error. Um, get nanosecond clock free. So we have the timers. Timer free mod build timer. So, what actually timer stuff? I'm supposed to trigger that? Do I do that? Timers run. When do I do that? Oh, whenever I get packets. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. Um, and so, yeah, so we're, we're getting there. Um, DOS garbage fight, yeah. We're gonna disable. So I'm going to leave this code here as reference. So no DOS error software supports it. How have I done multi-line comments before? No DOS error software supports it. And it may cause issues. might get confused by it. There we go. Comfy typing ASMR? Please no. TFTP pass. So how does the TFTP stuff work? I'll have to, I guess it's better to look it up now. So I know what's happening. Um. Slurp initialized. Um, and then we should probably just print some basic stuff here. Like um, slurp initialize. Uh, 
post is we don't need to post anything about that successfully initialized I mean I was thinking of posting stuff about the IP and stuff but I mean it's internal so it's not actually useful outside DOSBox Read only TFTP server. So let's do. Is this get get status? All right. Um, so we're just gonna have to use regular grep vhost name. It, it's not used, or it might be in Slurp. Client host name. Where are you at? Boot P. So boot P uses that for its client host name. We don't actually need that right now either. VDNS search, so let's grab that too. Comfy typing ASMR. Is my typing sounding good? Let's move those up there. V domain name. Do you like the sound of my keyboard? You're not zoning out, you're just comfy. Domain name. V domain name, so it copies it, yeah. What does it use it for? Domain name. Does it not use it? Guess not. FTP. What's boot file? Do we use boot file or is that a PXE thing? I don't know why I just keep opening it, then not opening it. Boot P file name. Boot P file name. What's the difference between DHCP and boot P? Hang on, I gotta search this up because I'm actually genuinely curious. So, boot P. Bootstrap protocol. Boot image. Isn't that PXE though? Boot P boot image. Oh, is that related to TFTP? Oh wait, no, I'm actually thinking about, yeah, no, I remember boot P actually exists. Hey Carlos, what's up? 
Where'd you go? So we're just going to clean up some of the code. Yeah, what's up? Discussing economic policy with your stepfather. How'd that go? Did you win? What did I change in slurp config? Do I have um, a mix of tabs and spaces in there? No. Wait, is this all tabs? Does I have a... All right, so then we go to Ethernet slope. Okay, it's fine. It's all fine. Wait, this file uses tabs and that one uses spaces, I guess? No, it uses, they both use tabs. All right. Oh. We're almost there. Started a bit loud, but by the end we agreed in a lot of things. Yeah. Wait. How am I polling stuff in this? All right, yeah, so I need to replace poll with select today as well. But I'll have to do that a bit later. All right, so let's add this config. Gonna make some tea and then start coding. It's the Christmas spirit that makes us see each other's points. Christmas, yes. What are you gonna code? Just git add p, that quick change I did. Oh, did I forget to write that to the file? Quick white space fix on dosbox.cpp. Right. Ethernet slurp. That should be the. Do some exercises with threads or some database notes. I got two projects to finish this month. Threads are pretty fun. And they, this back end uses Proxies to backend creates a virtual TCP IP. Should I give up my semi decent medium settings gaming on Windows PC to use my trashy Dell attitude with Ubuntu? If you want. Virtual TCP network with internet access. Only TCP traffic, only UDP and 
community traffic you feel unclean and all the atheist st stuff is gone okay only TCP and UDP traffic um, TCP and UDP traffic is proxied through the host as an application. Does that make sense? Is proxied through the host. No other traffic. Virtual. Through, through the host is proxied by DOSBox. Zip slurp. Through a virtual NAT layer by libslurp and as such no other types of traffic or access as such no other type of trap other types of traffic uh, layer two traffic Traffic will pass. There are other protocols. IPX Net BIOS. Um, the guest, the guest can access devices on your land. Can can access devices that the host can access, but the guest can access devices that the host can access, but those. But as it lacks an IP on the host network, those devices are unable to directly connect. To any services running on the virtual machine. There we go, that seems like it explains well enough. So we have enable, we need restricted. That's when idle. Only at start. All right, so that's the difference. If idols were a thing in Australia, would you become one? No, I'm too old. Would you dance and sing and capture the heart of Australia? No. Disable host loop back. Uh, 
Um, okay, so that's a ball. Um, MTU and MRU are ints. Add int. What the hell is with all this i equals to zero? Are these all basic stuff? Like, uh, that's not basic. No, that's not basic. Changing the MTU isn't basic. I don't think. I don't feel like studying code, I'm just gonna read. What are you gonna read? We don't need the IP version 4 enabled, do we? There's no point using it without IP version 4. Um, network, netmask, host. Procrastinate books is research for your own. I downloaded almost a hundred books today on it. That's a lot of books, dude. I don't think you're going to have time to read through those. Just like skim it. So this IP version 4 network should be... Damn. I need to copy the config. That should be 10.0.2.0. Um, Netmask 10.0.2.2. No, wait, that should be 255.255.255.0. for host 10.0.2.2 name server be at 3 and I'm going to set these all to basic why not DHP start. There we go. So, that's a lot of junk. See if it compiles, huh? Mostly going to skim it, so I just read one, you just read one, in quotes, read, one hour, 30 minutes. Some are about procrastination, but others are about pedagogy, pedagogy, fun, project management, and so on. 
Yep. Just in general, getting things done. I wonder if DOSBox staging uses the same configuration um, backend. Hmm. Source. DOSBox. Yeah, it looks about the same. God, the code looks a bit cleaner. They're cleaning up so much code. Oh, I love it. Is this what I want? Look at all the code they're cleaning up. Um, should I? It's one thing to think about DOSBox's coding style. Should I be using um, a string for the uh, Ethernet thing? Ethernet API? Whatever. Get string. What does get string return? It returns uh, an STD string. So we might actually just also fix that up here. If backend equals pcap. Slurp. And let's then just quickly try DOSBox. Let's see what happens. Could be cool. Configuration tool, Ethernet slurp. Yo, where's all my stuff at? Half my configs aren't there. You kidding me? That's not good, is it? Let's just save it and see why it's doing that. Yeah, half my stuff isn't there. And we also need to... Show this... GUI, STL, GUI... PCAP. Let's change that to slurp. What's going on here? Hey, Frozen Leap. I'm doing some programming to get my networking patches into DOSBox to make them work. Why not use a switch where that big long statement? Um, probably because switches can't handle strings. Case statements only hand, uh, handle integer values 
at least I think. So if you ever have like a whole bunch of uh, strings that you want to compare against, you have to use um, big long chain of if statements or a lookup table. Okay, I've actually got a device here that I'm going to power off because I'm charging it on battery. So, yeah. Here we go. I think this is the error I get when it's done compiling. Perhaps not. Your goal of being the dumbest person in the room has been realized. Uh... It's good to have goals, I guess. Okay, let's see. Nice, 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 nice. Check this out. You see the error of your comment now? Bruh. All right, so we have our config stuff in there. Let's wire it up to our slurpy warp. How did I do that with the PCAP stuff? Why do I always attract the cuties? What are you talking about, sir? So this is a library. You can't just walk in and ask me that. Ah, code stuff. It's a switch statement. Um, get string P version of four network. Um, host. What am I doing? Why am I not macroing this? Oh. Yeah, I can just do that. Network, net mask. What a chad. I haven't seen a cutie in more than one year after my GF left me. Why'd she, did she, why'd she leave you, bro? Were you procrastinating? Don't procrastinate on relationships. The, MT the MTU MRU stuff might have to be advanced. I'm not sure. Get string, get int. Um, MTU. MRU, and that would be Restricted. 
don't be sad for me. It's and it's opportunity for me to go full Gen Two Monkey. Nothing matters but our computers. One, yes. Oops. God. Get bull. Sable host loop back. That's a very long line. Who cares? And I also have to do a quick check. If we're going to have to error out if we're not enabled. I wonder if I really should have all these enabled things. Like, mm, it just doesn't seem to be very useful, you know? Let me add some notes about this. Um, so, enable kind of bad, uh, MTU, MIU, um, protect, I don't need it to be protected. Redecoration of that, what did I do? 127. That's right. I just copied and pasted it wrong. Her father didn't approve you as you're black. What the fuck? <sighs> Dude, that sucks. God. Why the world gonna be like that? Also, what am I doing? I'm trying to go to DOS junk. Okay, let's run this. Let's do the configuration tool. Ethernet slurp, it's going to enable it, restrict it, disable all this. Now let's change the IPs a bit, I guess. Of course there'll be others, dude. Think of it as you're just filtering out the trash here. Um. Oh man, I've been line wrapping. Should I be line wrapping? That doesn't look good when I line wrap. I'll have to check that out in a second. So let's save and let's restart the guest system, uh, the virtual machine. And let's see if the IP has changed. DOSBox is, it's complicated. Um, 
it's a DOS emulator. It emulates um, a DOS machine, but also it emulates the actual DOS OS. Except I'm running free DOS on it, so not not quite. So that isn't working. I'm pissed. Slurp disabled, refusing to initialize. Sorry, what? Did I get that flag wrong? Slurp disabled, refusing to initialize. Look, buddy. Where is my window? I'm panicking. I don't usually use Windows. DOSBox config. What am I trying to do with DOSBox? I'm trying to add support so you can network it. Originally, I was making a Twitch DOSBox bot, but it's been such a headache to uh, network it that I decided that I might just implement easier networking support on it. Um, I don't know if that's been a good idea overall. Why is get bull enable not working? Something's wrong here. Something's very, very wrong. Ethernet slurp, null in it. I guess I'll just have to make those a bit narrower. Why is this not working? Okay, so Ethernet PCAP, Ethernet, Ethernet Slurp. Did I just not enable Slurp? What? I'm confused. All right, configuration tool, any 2000, set it to Slurp. That's disabled. This is enabled. Save the config. Go, why have you not, why do you think it's disabled? Slurp disabled, refusing to initialize. So is this an actual issue? Have I just, have I managed to do something wrong here? I'm just gonna quickly see if this is just my logic for, uh, or I know what it is. Gosh, damn it. I forgot to make it actually use the configuration. There we go. Let's try this. So I'll show you in a second, Carlos, what, what this is useful for. Actually, no, I can just explain it. It's going to take too long to compile, but the idea is that... Um, if you want to use the internet from DOSBox, it's really difficult at the moment, so I'm just making it a lot easier. Lots easier. And too many easier. My make file, look, this isn't... I didn't make DOSBox and it's using an auto-generated make file, so let's have a look at it. Um, it's generated by auto tools, so it's basically this. It's not meant for human use. Okay, let's see if this works now.
slurp successfully initialized. Okay, boot up now, please. Oh, we got the IP address. We didn't get the gateway or name server. What? Hmm. It should have the name server. Huh? Is who vegan? Me? Yeah. Um, let's see. Why you be like this code? Network netmask name server. Hmm. What if I just load this with garbage? Like, um... Does that crash it? Nope. So, for some reason, this is not working too well. There's already a packet driver. Oh, I don't want that. Um, of course, that didn't actually crash it, so. This is the vegan channel, vegan programming. Yeah, a little bit. Do you use a single monitor? Um, no, I use a... I do use a single monitor, I mean. I know multi-monitors makes it more convenient, but uh, there, are, there are different ways to approach that issue. Tiling window manager. Also, I, I like... I just don't have... Like, I have a laptop next to my monitor, which I can see the chat on, so... Would you send a fax to get a copy of what? Just a copy of something? So it says gateway is 000 and name server is 000. That's not what I want. Does that mean I can't use the internet? Or is this, it has just not configured through DHCP yet? That might be the case. Nope. Uh, it says I can get a copy of something when I launch it. Look. Network, netmask, host, name is server. Why that not work? Explain. Ha ha ha, you like facts? Guess what doesn't work in Australia now? All right, um, let's just actually try and GDB this. Break slurp Ethernet connection. Initialize. Let's see what's going on here. All right. List next, 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 next. Wait, no, next. All right, let's print the config. Um, hang on a second. I'll I will answer that in a second.
Did the koalas eat my phone line? Um, no, but all the NBN runs, um, the NBN is replacing people's landlines with, um, IP based, IP based telephone stuff, which has too many, too much latency jitter in order to run fax. Because the phone line and the way, the way the internet works is packet based while phone line is time based. All right, so what are we seeing here? So get string IP net mask. So let's print V net mask. Um, excuse me. And config dot V net mask. Excuse me, but this symbol is valid. There we go. So that's the net mask there. Now let's step and it's set the net mask to zero. Let's step again. Um, next, next. So I actually did set the net mask. So what about the host? Okay, name server. That did set the name server. I think. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, that looks about right. Is this just because I've used a non-standard IP for this? Hang on a second. Let's see, slurp. Host name server. Let's set this back to defaults. Ah. No, something's wrong here. Something's very, very wrong here. Hmm. You know what? Let's think about this logically. So the IP address works, the net mask works, the gateway doesn't work, the name server doesn't work. So what if we set the gateway, uh, the name server to be the host? That would rule out if the section string thing is the issue. Oops. So if the name server shows up, then that confirms that um, something weird is going on with the section config. No, the name server doesn't work there either. All right. So let's assume there's some kind of internal state happening. What if I move it up here and make the name server set there, would that change anything? If there's some kind of internal state with getting strings from the property thing, that's 
ruining my day. No, that's not the case either. All right, so let's think about this. I'm gonna have to revert my code. Oh, that sucks. Ah, wait, could it be because I enable the restricted modes of stuff? Could it be that I just don't understand how that works? That seems like something, if anyone's watching this and that's actually the case, and they're yelling at my screen because they see the issue. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not really controlled testing, is it, if I enable stuff that I haven't used before? All right, let's see. Okay, that was the issue. Yeah, I'm sorry for people yelling at the screen. So if I change all this to three. <sighs> Disabling host loopback is a bit weird. I feel like I should actually, I shouldn't add that option if it's going to break things. So what we're gonna do Um, let's enable disable host loopback and see what happens. So it's the restricted mode that causes this issue. Um, I'll just set those as advanced and a note Ted, that's not the that's not the guy that did the bombs, is it? Because every time I hear about people writing about how technology bad, I think of the bomb guy. Not a big fan of that. Okay, let's see. God, he's not responding. It must be the bomb guy. Jeez. Let me just quickly, not sure about the bomb thing. Let me just search up his name then. No, it's the bomb guy. It's always the bomb guy. All right. I thought that he wrote about the bomb guy, not that he was the bomb guy. Sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, him bombing people, you can kind of separate that from his work. Um, but at the same time, you know, don't bomb people. Like... It didn't, if you, if you notice, if you look before he bombed people and then after he bombed people, you can see that it didn't actually fix anything or change anything. So it was probably actually a net, a net loss because now the guy's in jail instead of writing political stuff. I mean, it also, he murdered people with the bombs, which is also a net loss. But I'm just saying, if you, if you think about bombing people, you're probably like, well, it's for the bigger picture. 
well, the big picture here just it didn't make any difference. Of course, you could say, how do you know if it's going to make a difference? Well, you know, the burden of proof should be on you if you want to bomb people. You know what I mean? All right. So I've hidden some options that are just going to cause issues if you enable them by default for the um, slurp stuff. So we just have the IPs and stuff and people can fiddle with those. Um, and then they can use the advanced options if they want to mess with that. I believe one of the main ideas the one you subscribe to is that simple technology we can understand and reproduce can give us more control over our lives. Chair versus microchip. Um, just don't be violent except in self-defense situations. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what, where you, th what you think about complexity and the benefits and stuff. Like, computers are pretty complex, and uh, it's actually impossible for any one person to understand it, but that's pretty much the same with most industries. And part of society is just relying on others. Like, if I was just to move away from society, I couldn't do anything. And you have these people that, like, these preppers that do all these things to, you know, to prepare for a society where everyone's going to go hunt each other. Um, but there's really no long-term goals there, aside from survival. There's no, well, how are we going to rebuild this? How are we going to make the world better? You know, you don't see preppers that are like, I'm a prepper and I have like a, I have a diploma in gardening and agriculture. And I've identified the, the fields and the lakes around here that we could storm once the apocalypse happens and we could take that over and we could hold those and do agriculture and stuff. It's always these single people with guns that are like, I'm just going to stock up. All right, that's a weird aside there. Let's look at my diff. I didn't add that yet. Oh dear. Let's see, get status. All right, so ethernet. Let's go through this directory by directory. Let's change the um, source UE directory. Let's have a peek at the diff. Um, let's commit the uh, slurp name thing. Oops, git commit. Um, that's a bit weird to commit, but I'm going to be rebasing the entire history in a bit anyway. Um, so let's see. Let's go to MISC for a second. Yep. 
Yes, I want to commit that. No. 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 Yes. Yes. No. Yes. The thing that scares me is something making or fixing PBC could become obsolete depending on the decision of some corporate executive, not only do you become obsolete, but your work and material you need to do your art vanishes. By PBC, do you mean... Is that a typo? I don't know what a PBC is. Like, I definitely, definitely think all designs and stuff and documentation and instructions and information like that should be just open and available. Um, I think the actual thing that stops people from making things should be complexity itself, not, you know, just lack of knowledge. Um, which is a big part of why a lot of things can't be made, just because it costs money to develop knowledge and research and so they have to recoup by hiding that knowledge all right Let's go to our DOS box config stuff and start um, writing some help for things. Let's just quickly make a template. Oh no, okay, restricted. Restricts access to the host. to the host device. Services such as DHC, such as libslurps, this server will no longer work. By PBC, you mean motherboards are made of, but anything technologically dependent on composite systems. A carpenter may not be needed, but there will always be wood around from the practice his skills. Well, someone has to grow the trees and all that. And then, like, make the paints to make the woods better, to protect them. And then feed the carpenter and all this. It's a huge cycle. Um, disables access to the host's loopback interfaces. Disables access to the host. MTU. What's MTU? Maximum tra Transmission Unit? And what's MIU? Some trees take a lifetime to grow on age. Yeah. Transmission Unit. Um, so it's Maximum Transmission Unit. Transmission Unit. What's MIU? Maximum receive unit. All right, that's fair. So that's the maximum transmission unit. Um, the maximum transmission unit for packets for 
ethernet packets provided um, transmitted from the guest. I think that's right. I should probably just make that specifying zero well use lib slaps default MTU. Am I afraid to am I afraid to be placed replaced by A or at least things like website builders like Wix and WordPress and ready other made computing products? Uh, not really. There's not much I can do about it. Receive unit transmitted to the guest. Network. Um, the guest and host services are on the net mask for the host IP okay the address of the guest on the IP version 4 network. The address of the name server provided by the host. If shit hits the fans, I would dedicate myself to mathematics or economics. Yeah. Rest of the name server provided by the host on the the um, so service provided by the host on the IP Vision 4 network. Start address used for DH, DHCP uh, by the host services on the IP network. Okay, that looks like a decent documentation for now. Let's see if that will make properly. Pint maximum transmission unit I forgot. I forgot to um, I forgot to do a little bit of syntax stuff, huh? It's raining outside. I'm not sure if anyone can hear that, but rain is nice. It's rained a lot this summer. It's good. Last summer everything was on fire, so this is very welcome. Just fill my life with water. You miss rain? Are you not getting much rain down there? In, uh, down there? It hasn't really rained in a year? That sucks. Alright. Now let's just quickly try this again. With my FreeDOS thing. Oops, wrong window. 
help. I don't know where I am. I have to open a terminal. Don't live in the desert. I don't want to live in a desert. I hate the desert. So let's see what the documentation on this looks like. Um, yep. So it's wrapping wrong at buy, lax, and connect. So let's try and fix that. Where a rainforest and plain species? No. Let's see if that works well. So that should add some more help. PCAP. That looks good. I'm not sure about having the enable switches there. Because I specify it with the back end there. Would you rather fly or be able to breathe underwater? Um, breathe underwater. You can't hear the rain, or at least you can't. Portugal had a big fire season as three years in 2017. We had a fire with 64 dead and 250 hurt. That sucks, man. Being a downer. Nah, it's all right. Um, Portugal, that's in... Uh, oh, no. No, I'm such a... I'm such a... Uh, what, what is it? Not Eurocentric, Anglocentric person. Um, that's in South America. I think that has the same kind of. I think somewhere there has the same climate. Not Portugal, but close by. Um, next to Spain, but it's a country. No, did I just. Wait, what? Did I just mix up Portugal with Brazil? No. No, don't say this. No. No. No, they changed it. They moved it. No. No! I need a map. I need a map so I don't look silly on the internet. Sorry, you're in Europe. I don't know anything about Europe. <laughs> Pog champs everywhere. I have more ignorance than you. God, that's like saying LGBTI rights, they added another sexuality. What do you is that what Wikipedia said? All right, I need to make that, and I think that might be the configuration done. Uh, Yeah, LGB, I think the I is for intersex. Oh, I guess the I is gone. If you go to the page. Um, sorry, intersex people, but if you, doesn't matter. You're not.
That's fine. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's fine. It might not be fine. I'm just, I'm trying to move on. I don't make the Wikipedias, I just enforce it. Hey, I got a message on my phone. I got some emails. The world's big today. I, today I was in the shower trying to remember South American country and could only come up with two. Mexico and Chile completely forgot to Brazil. Well, there's Brazil, there's Argentina, there's... Uh, that's them. I don't know why I thought Portugal was in there. I guess, I guess I'm a racist. I guess this is... This is what it's like being a racist. Unable to directly connect, okay. So that's where it's wrapping wrong. I'm sorry for being a racist. Um, I know, I know some America stuff though. Brazil speaks Portuguese. My girlfriend was Brazilian and I still forgot. That's really cool that you forgot that your Brazilian your Brazilian girlfriend spoke Portuguese. I don't know what you're saying. I'm such a bad per I'm such not a I'm such I'm so bad at maps. Like if you asked me what country was on a map, I'd start sweating and just think, uh, America, Europe, Africa, <laughs> just going from country to union to continent. Africa's a country, definitely. Forgetting Brazil is like if you in Australia forgot about Great Britain. <sighs> well, technically, we're technically it's a monarchy here, so can't forget about that. No forgetting about it. There's always, it's always the Queen. She's there in the background. So that would be fix the configuration docs for slurp. Wait, is there a tab there? Oh no. Okay, hang on. What if the Queen dies and the next guy's like all nationalistic and trying to get Canada and Australia back into the kingdom fully? Well, Canada escaped, so it's just us. Maybe New Zealand? I don't know. I don't know if New Zealand's part of uh, part of the Commonwealth. Maybe they got out. Maybe they were never in it. I'm not sure. These are questions that I could easily find the answer to, but I'm not going to. Would you become a British citizen or die for your freedom to be a pure Australian? I don't know. I don't like the Australian identity or really any identity that kind of overshadows um, true owners of land. 
You're kidding, but I was thinking in the shower because I saw a meme on the internet in a Big Brother equivalent show in Portugal where a girl was asked to lose South American countries, her answer, Africa. Well, if you, if you tilt the map sideways, Africa is South of America. Alright, so what else have I got to do here aside from clean up all my git trash? Uh, let's try and use select, I guess. Well, let's look at my stuff here. Oof, there's a lot of trash here. Um... My mum saw a map with Africa sideways and thought it was Australia. It's easy, easy mistake. People often get Africa and Australia mixed up. Alright, so let's see. Um, what am I doing? That's a good question. Um, I need to rewrite this slurp code to use the Unix select API so it works on Windows. So let's do that. Australia is just an upside down America. I wish. Alright. No, I can't do this. I'm too... I thought about moving to Australia or New Zealand, but I'm scared of the spiders. Why? Don't be scared of spiders. Don't be a coward. So let's see, polls, ads, Pull in, pull out, pre. Um, I feel spiders crawling on me all night. It's like, this is all right and go back to sleep. Yeah. In Portugal, you don't have a single insect that can kill you. Not yet. All right. What if I just implement poll for Windows? What's p select? Yeah, it's like a massage if you just have thousands of spiders crawling over you. So this is the API we get in Windows. We get this trashy select function. Um, so we need a list of file descriptors instead of regular files for poll. All right, and so slurp will we... comes to visit and brings all these terrible spider friends as an invasive species. Yeah, I have to come visit you. I'll be bringing my pet bunny and all of my dogs and um, termites and everything. All right, poll FD. Register poll FD, unregister poll FD. What does register poll FD mean? Um, this is tricky because it's like poll add FD events. What does register poll FD do? What are you trying to do, Slurp? Are Australian termites worse than American and European termites? I don't know, man. What do you think I am? A termite expert? A termicist? Termi termite a termitologist? A has anyone ever married a female kangaroo?
you know what? Legally, no. I'm going to just say that. I know that definitely they did not marry it legally. But, you know, there's so many people. Yeah, the true America, the true Australia. Okay, what are you doing here, Slurp? Slurp, your coat is dense and thick and I hate it. Windsock? You got windsock here? Register a file descriptor for future polling. How does that work? How does that work? How am I supposed to poll it? You haven't told me what you need to poll it for. You thought about moving to America but afraid of the crime rates and being explored, exploited as a visa worker. Well, you could do some of the crimes too. Register poll FD. What is it going to register the poll FD with? Why would you register the poll FD? So that unregisters FD. MISC. You could do crime. Good thinking, brother. Yeah. Why does this want to register a poll F file descriptor? What's the point of that? Am I misunderstanding this? So there's add poll and there's register poll FD. I guess we'll just register it for both. So there's, I guess, poll in, poll out is the way to go. Where's the QMU code? Not providing example code isn't very charismatic, Internet. Okay. QMU GitHub. PolFD. There's way too many things named Paul FD. <sighs> um, what about Slurp? If I search Slurp, will it show me the Slurp code? Here we go. Register. Register poll FD. So what does this do in QMU? There's no FD on register. What does that mean? Why? Hmm. 
notify event. What does notify do? Slurp notify. I have to go back to my slurp code now, which I closed. We're all illegalists here. That's such a weird idea for a term. Will you be my inside man? We could start a mafia, the software mafia. Wow. So what does notifying actually do? It does one thing. Notify. If SB drop, I don't care. Um, that's fine. So it's just, what's QMUFD register do? Wait, does this not do the FD stuff too? QMU FD register, register poll FD, unregister poll FD. Slurp poll to GIO. Oh, so they use net slurp add poll. Wait, where's that called from? Net slurp poll notify. What? Whatever. How they slurp poll to GIO. Slurp GIO to poll. So are they using glib to do this? Let's see. Does glib have any poll stuff? So is it main loops, poll. So this is for the big glib main loop spaghetti. G poll. Ah. So G poll seems like what I want. What desktop environment do I use? Uh, I3. If you need to use gpol and code that has to run on Windows, the easiest solution is to construct all of your gpol FDs with GIO channel win32 make poll FD. So what is that? I'm not exactly thrilled to see that there's no documentation for it. Portable poll implementation. I mean, I'm just going to write select. I have a, I have an idea on how to do this, but I do want to quickly just figure out, um, the differences. Oh. 
windsock select differences. Because that's not POSIX select. Let's see, codeproject.org, that's old. Windows has an alternate API. Let's search these up. There's a lot of stuff here. And it's starting to rain. So is a sync select available on older system? Let's see requirements section. What OS does this run on? Windows 2000, that's fine. What about this one? What's on this? What's this on? Windows 8.1, that's too new. That's too new. What's the API here for a sync select? Uh, that uses Windows APIs. You know, select seems like what I'll have to replace it with. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, well the rest of the work here is going to be boring so i think i might just wrap it up after six hours today but thank you all for coming um that's about it that's it that's all there's nothing left Oh, it's not the uh, button. I have a hotkey in order to do this. Hang on, let's see. Does this work? No. My hotkeys are not working. I'm sad now. Why is that? Alt Shift 1 should go to the busy scene, right? Oh, ah, I was doing it wrong. I was using Control Alt. All right. Let's pretend that, let's do that again, all right? Wow, everyone, this has been a great stream. Thanks for coming. I'll see you guys later, wink. Why? It's just not working. It's, I just, was I holding backspace? No, hang on, let's, no, I'm going to do this, all right? Um, good stream, bye, etc.